Okay, hold on. Just hold on. <laughs> hold on. My goodness. Just wait a second. She gets so excited. Sit. Oh my goodness. She says, I'll take that. Yoink. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Minnie is so excited today. She's been thrashing that red toy around. Barking at everything that moves. Hi! She's happy now. There we go. We have a lot to do today. But first we'll start, we'll start fun with the photos I took yesterday. Like the, the pose photos. Oh, and I edited townies. I have something to say about one of the roles, though. We won't do Charles' role, because I'm going to change when we start those roles. Because if we do factor in the fact that the average life expectancy being 40 is because of kid roles, the chances of them dying then would be really, 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 really low. So we're going to push off those roles, but I don't know to win. Maybe 45? Maybe 50? Just because, um, it just seems a little ridiculous. So, we won't see his role, because I'm going to pretend the other one didn't happen, and we'll push those off, but we will see two other roles. Sebastian has a birthday, and Genevieve most likely will have her kid. She should. She should have her kid within a day. Or kids. Minnie, come on! Oh my goodness. What will happen? Oh, I know, she's so barky at everything. But we have, like, people mowing their lawn, and then we have people cutting wood, and then the... School pickup, so she has a lot to bark at. <laughs> and she slept a lot yesterday. I mean, she even slept on stream. And whenever she has a good day where she rests a lot, and then the next day is just chaos. She was literally barking at Thomas on the phone because she wanted to play. <laughs> so. That's Minnie Muffin. Now she's screaming out there. Um, alright. Like I said, we'll start off with some nice things. Here. Um... Let me grab those photos. Well, I feel like we'll still do by one, but I, what we did in the past is, you know, every year you raise it by one, but that raises it by 5% every year. So if you start late enough, it's okay. If we were to start earlier, I'd say you would wait a few years in between each roll. So let's say you did start at 40. Maybe you roll at 40, but then you don't roll again a few until a few years later, and then you do the next roll. But I gotta figure it out, but for today, he won't have a role. Because it's so rough. Because basically, if you live childhood back then, you're good. Unless you, like, get hit with some plague. Or, you know, an unfortunate accident type deal. They just have to get through all those childhood roles, which are scary enough. So I don't know exactly what I'll do, but I'm thinking maybe about 50. And starting at 1 out of 20 and then raising it each year. But he would be 41 right now, right? So we have a little time to at least figure it out if we wanted to do it earlier or later. Don't know what the T word is. Oh, treat, yeah. <laughs> Although I think she might know what T word means now. You know, because she's smart. But for some reason that just seems better than saying the word treat in front of her. She will maul me <laughs> with her little dog body, if I say that word. Until she gets one, of course. Alright, hold on. I'm looking for... These? Yeah, these. Okay. Come with me. Hi, welcome to Discord. So, these are all updated. This is our, our family with the puppy. But those aren't the most exciting ones. The most... Oh, and side families. The most exciting ones are the posed ones, but I did upload all the townies, too. Everyone is dressed again. So, anyone walking around should be in the correct clothes again. Hallelujah. They are all dressed. So, they're all in here. If you want to look at them closely, they're all very, very cute. It's a lot of work, but it's just so worth it. I uploaded them with their puppies, too. And then these are old. So, it was only a few families, luckily. Now, these, let me just uh, scroll up. I showed the wedding photos yesterday, but I took some pictures with Sebastian and his puppy. 
because I didn't want to take a whole family picture with a dog because we just did a family picture. So I just grabbed a pose pack that was a toddler and a puppy. So he has some pictures with that pup. It's so cute. Hello, Jay. Welcome in. I just love... And then one of them, it didn't let me post because it thought he was naked even though he's wearing the same clothes. But that's Discord for you. Um, and this one. <laughs> this one was so cute. Minnie Muffin, come here. Quit screaming. Come here, puppy. Hello, Ariel. Hello, Dawn. Yesterday, we got dogs. And then I took a picture um, with Gabriel and Genevieve and their dog. Now, this one was hard. He's not technically posed. The pose pack only worked for her. I had a pose, po or a pose pack for two adults and a puppy, but it didn't work. Like, the dog was in the wrong spot no matter what I did. So, he's just standing there naturally, but it worked out. He's at least there. Minnie, come here. Come get another treat. <sighs> She's screaming. Come here, baby. I need you to hang out in here and stop screaming. Okay? You want a tiny, tiny treat and you can hang out in here? Um, and then all the screenshots are here. So, there's your update on that. Just a little cuteness to start off. And then... As far as game goes, everything is the same. Obviously, I edited the, those townies, but I just showed you them. You can always go to Discord if you want to stare at them closely. Oh, my game's muted again, isn't it? Hold on. Hold on. She didn't even stay for the treat. She left. <laughs> That's how much she wants to cause chaos. Now, are my captions working? Because I changed all, you know, my password and everything, but... I think they're working. Hopefully. You whisked away your sims, baby? You were supposed to reset it. Uh-oh. Do you mean you accidentally clicked the wrong button? They're working? Okay, good. Because even Streamlabs, I re-logged into my Twitch account, but I didn't have to redo the stream key or anything, so I just wasn't sure if anything was going to work. <laughs> Hi, Sky. Other than that, let's see, Genevieve's pregnant. We can just play. I think we ended right at nighttime. And we're gonna go to church. As an actual church event. I've never played it, so we'll have to see how that goes. We'll test it out. You pick debug starve death or starve baby. No! Can you revert your save? Oh, no. I guess if you want to, you could say it was a tragedy and that it actually happened. Otherwise, maybe try to uh Get out of your game and see if you can get a recent save. Cause yikes. Oh. Yeah, here we go. They- Oh wait! We forgot a very special tradition of Feast of Kings! Maybe we can do it real quick. We'll do it real quick. How tired are they all? They're not super tired. Okay, we forgot to do the thing where we make a pastry, which I just make like candied apples or something, because that's something we have in the game. And where uh, we roll a dice. Y you could say she died, but if you want to, you know, not have that happen since it was an accident. Yikes. But yeah, let's make our dessert real quick, and then we'll send them off to bed. And we're going to end up making a cake in the morning for Sebastian. Now, I swear, if this boy dies in the same way his sister did, <laughs> we'll all cry. <gasps> Except Dolly. Uh -huh. Go make that. The rest of you can just do whatever you want for a bit. <laughs> oh, you know, it would be really good if Grants. we got the puppy a bath real quick. There we go. But yes, yesterday, if you missed our storyline and you need a little catch-up, uh, mute me if you don't, but <laughs> if you want to hear what happened, we got puppies. Our Native American family across the water, we gave them a bunch of puppies. And we went and picked one up, and so did Genevieve. And then I also released the next part of the story. <laughs> this is like a proper, I don't know, a proper TV show. Uh, Charlie is going to be courting with Nimki. Oops, wrong button. This one.
So there you go. Of all the death rolls today, I'm most scared for Sebastian. Yeah, so I, I know people just walked in. We're not gonna do Charles. I'm gonna change when death rolls start. I did that with original decades too, because I always start them too low. And then when we actually get playing and we actually see where we're at and how things are going, we're like, wait a second, that would be ridiculous. Even per the times, because of the way those statistics were. So, we're going to uh, wait on his. But that means we still have Sebastian's roll. And we'll still have Genevieve's birth roll. That one's so low, so just cross your fingers in a good way for her. Not only do I really like Genevieve, but also we put in so much work for her to get to where she is. You know, the wedding and everything. She can't die. So she better not. Huh. <sighs> All your six kids have lived so far. You know the day where one will die and is coming, you're dreading it. I know. Is terrifying. Well, in the fact that, you know, knock on wood for all of this, but the fact that none of our kids died from baby to toddler and none of our kids died from kid to teen. The only death we've had, and we didn't like override any of them, the only death we had was toddler to kid and it was Isabel. And that's really weird. B very good, but really weird. Mom lived all her uh, birth rolls as well. Her like, you know, death from giving birth rolls naturally and it's just odd but it scares me scary i am emily so that rule is supposed to be like typically you would only marry within your race and your religion back then but that doesn't mean you can't do whatever the heck you want like it happened of course it did or you know they might not actually be married depending on the couple but just play however you want that rule is just supposed to be like typically you know the 99 percent but yeah it will be really cute and then their family they live right across the water and then she has two sisters living in windenburg which is just an extension of this world five of yours have made it to child and one has made it. it's so weird because the rolls are a one out of eight like statistically if you're having eight kids you know one should die on that roll and the one out of four roll is the craziest one. <laughs> well, it's still the norm. That's why that rule was written. But if you read the original rule page, you can do whatever the heck you want with the rules. All right? The rules are just like the typical, the norm. But do whatever you want. It literally says that in the rules. So just do what you want, please. <laughs> Thank you. All right, anyways, I'm gonna get her to make her pastry and we'll do that tradition real quick. Huh. You roll a one out of four for every age up and they're still alive? Sheesh. Wait, 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 how did you cook those so fast? Yeah, literally make whatever story you want. Go for it. If you don't like a rule that I write, don't use it. Nothing has happened yet. This cake needs to be eaten. Ooh, a breath. Can we get rid of this so that we can eat this? It's just a game. Exactly. It's literally a game. And I just do the best I can with rules. And that rule is based on the original Decades Challenge. And it's also based on just general history. Typically, people marry in their religion. Typically, people married in their ethnicity and race. But they didn't always. Of course not. And that does not have anything to do with nowadays. Because nowadays, all bets off. You do whatever you want. So, don't take it so literally. Because it's frustrating when people do that. Because it's not how it's supposed to be. Just play how you want. That's it. Just do whatever the heck you want. Starting Sims in Medieval area and you went with it. Hey, I like it. If it doesn't make you happy, don't do it. You know, like just enjoy it. Now I'm all flustered. Can we get everyone to come eat? And we're going to roll the dice for this. A good dice. The dice for whoever wins. Go call to meal. Jen should be giving birth this stream. Yes, I'm very excited. 
Come on over. We're gonna do... I'll read off the tradition again in case you haven't seen it. This is our representation of the tradition. It's not perfect though because I don't have puff pastries so I'm using apples. But, you know. You could hide something in an apple. Be a little difficult. Alright, what we're gonna do... How many sims do we have in the house? Three, four, five, six, seven. So we're gonna... I'll probably just use a number generator to pick between 1 and 7. Because I don't want to roll a D8 and there's no D7s. Made a big pot of chicken and veggie stew in your crock pot. That sounds delicious. But let me go read the little tradition. If Genevieve has a girl, we've already stated we will name her Belle after Isabel. If she has a boy, we could name them um gabriel jr if we want a junior in that house but if we don't want a junior then we could just pick five names and then vote i just don't know like how many houses back then would have had a junior i don't know how typical that was i feel like we think of it being really common but i don't know how common it truly was all right so we are it's feast of kings today and we forgot to do this so we're doing a galette de roy I don't know how to say that, but it's a puff pastry filled with frangipan or whatever, but it's an almond cream for dessert. I'm using apples. Um, and a small item would be hidden inside of it, like a bean or a penny, and whoever found it gets a small gift. So I don't know what we're going to give them because we don't have much, but we'll figure it out. So the way we can do it in Sims is just make a dessert and roll a dice for how many Sims are eating it, and then whoever, you know... Whatever number it rolls on based on their family on the bottom, give them a prize. <laughs> I know, Foggy, we talked about that before. So, I'm going to get a between one and seven. I feel like Junior should be saved for main house. I don't know. I don't really mind, but it can get confusing if we have too many Juniors, like in the side households. Because we did that with Gilbert. We had a Gilbert Junior. And he looked a lot like original Gilbert. So we just have to be careful to not confuse ourselves. Minnie, come here! Thomas is screaming at Minnie and Minnie's screaming at him. <laughs> okay. Can always add junior name as one of the five to vote for. That's very true, too. Maybe a different family named after one of their fathers. In the future, yeah. Alright. Random number between 1 and 7. Let's... I'm not going to take this number. We are going to click roll. Although, does between 1 and 7 include 1 and 7? I don't know. Just roll. 4? Who's 4? It's not for anything bad. Charles Jr., what would you like to win? I mean, first you can oh. eat, but... <laughs> Afterwards, <laughs> we'll find you a prize. <laughs> it's an apple. Congrats. That's your prize. Are you eating cake? Ooh, a breath. Oh, yeah, Wait, Genevieve was here, too. Oh, well, she's not on the bottom. She's, she's not in this prize pool. What is she doing? She's like, I got yelled at. <laughs> she was not stop barking at everything. Good girl. Thanks for laying down. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, baby. <laughs> All right, now we can get you all to bed, and then we'll start the morning with Sebastian's roll, and then we're also in a new year as well, and then we'll go to church, assuming his roll goes well. Otherwise, church may not be happening, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> but first, sleep. Juliet, um, Eloise, 
Eloise looks so old, too. She aged up yesterday. She is technically a young adult, which we have to focus on getting her ready to get married, which is a pain in my butt because we just did a marriage, but it'll be fine. We just got to get him back over here. They are boyfriend and girlfriend now. So, we just have to get them prepared to be engaged, and then we can do the wedding whenever after that. And Genevieve, you can go home. I feel like you're stuck here again, aren't you? Send home. Can you send her home real quick? Go to sleep. Go on up. Okay. Good. So, we should have all the ingredients for Sebastian's birthday cake. Is she just not leaving? Will you leave with MC Command Center? Go home. Don't have your baby here. It will be stuck here in a crib. Oh, could you imagine? Genevieve drops her baby off here and uh, we get to take care of her. Cake. So we're going to make another cake. I know we have one, although someone took a slice, right? Okay, good. I've been doing good at making each person their own cake, even if it's the day after. Since it's technically three months, they all get their own cake. So I just need butter, which she has. So the cake will be fine. We might want to trade off some chicken soon, it looks like. Now, I need to change the rule. Mini Muffin! No! <sighs> Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Welcome in. Let's see. So, we just finished off our Saturday from yesterday. And I don't know if they're all bathed. It was kind of a crazy day. But now it's going to be Sunday, so... We will have our farm roll at some point. As long as we do that before we plant, we're good. Um, we're going to try to go to church. But first, Sebastian has his roll. These are going to be removed for now. Because like I said a little bit ago, I'm going to change when we start their rolls. So pretend Charles first... Oh, jeez. First roll didn't happen. And uh, we're not doing a second one yet. So... Just so you know. There is way too much happening right now. IRL. You all just sleep peacefully, please. And then Charles Jr., young adult. Oh, gosh. So Charlie ages up in a year and a day. But we have to get Eloise out first. And then Arthur is almost two years after that, so we'll have a little gap. And then Juliet isn't even on here. Let me get Juliet on the spreadsheet. Hold on. Juliet is a couple years after Arthur, and then Sebastian's way after that. Obviously, he's a lot younger than all of them, so we'll have a nice break from weddings. And then we should have a nice break until Charlie's kids are ready for weddings. Well, I guess Genevieve's kids, but her weddings, her kids' weddings won't be big ones. They would be what we call cast weddings. Hi, Ganderson. Welcome. Oh, he's finally asleep. This puppy wouldn't sleep yesterday. Kind of like my puppy today. <laughs> he's finally sleeping. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, good morning. Oh, no, he went back to sleep. Why are your eyes open? That's terrifying. Close your eyes. Huh. That's our tiny puppy. Aw, oh, man. Who aged up? Marcy Rockwell's a young adult. Okay, that's fine. I don't have to redress you. Oh, it's Sophia's a young adult. So... If one of them get married to a Star Wars character, I am closing the game. Because <laughs> you know they're about to get married. Oh, no. But yeah, this is Bear. Or Makwa, which means Bear. And then Genevieve has Dawn. I don't remember the Native American name because it was difficult to say. But um, her dog's Dawn and then this is Bear. That would be cute. When they grow up, it's a big dog. He's going to be big floof. Oh, and you know what? Oh, I forgot about this. It's technically Easter today, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Nimki is now a young adult. I don't want her to get married. So that means she's older than Charles. 
Minnie, please stop barking. She's gonna drive Thomas up the wall. Um, that means she's a year older, which would be fine, but I need to go make sure she doesn't marry. So I should probably flag her or whatever. A puppy yesterday. Mini Muffin. <laughs> I can't do anything today. I just go back to bed to start over. Can we flag her from here? From him? Can I, I just don't want her to get married. I've never done this before, but people keep telling me to. So we're going to try it. Pregnancy? Flags affecting marriage relationships? Minnie, come here! Minnie, come on! Oh my lord. Flag never marry, marry same age, marry any age, flag to never break up. So this one, and then we'll just remove it when we do marry her. Minnie, come here! You want a treat? Get in here! Hey, you need to stop barking. You just gotta chill. It's too much. Both of us are trying to work. You have everything you need. You had all your tea words. Now just chill. Okay? <laughs> Come here. Do you need do you need a hug? Come here. I know she's literally crying right now. Come here. Jump up here. Jeez. <laughs> She's in crazy mode today. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. Hello. The type of dog bear is is not related in the American Eskimo dog and went extinct. <gasps> oh, no. Come on. Just chill. <laughs> I wish treats were free so mom and dad didn't have to work. She just love me. Oh, I need a puppy hug too. Thanks. Thomas is on the phone and he still has a little longer. And then you can bark out there all you want. I don't, I don't care if you bark out there if he's not working. Hi, baby. It's a good cuddle. Good cuddle size. <laughs> is that better? How's that? Do you feel better? Oh, thanks. <laughs> She's just been non-stop since the morning. Yours is nine months and over 50 pounds. You know, I love big dogs too. But I will say after having Minnie, I don't think I would necessarily want a big dog just because of how big they are around the house. But I love them. Hi, baby. Oh. Hey. Do you want to just sit here with us a while and then you won't be barking? Yeah? I can just uh, play with my feet. <laughs> I don't need hands. Uh. Hi, baby. I know we got a small dog originally because, like, you know, we didn't really, or my, my parents at the time didn't want a dog or anything, especially a big animal. I've only had, like, small animals before her, like, hamsters and then a rabbit and stuff. So we went with a small puppy. Hi. And she's actually bigger than we thought she would be. But it ended up working out because then, like, they don't have as many health problems. But she's, like, she's around 8 pounds right now. But she's normally between 7 and 8. She's just a baby. She's like, I saw we I see it in her eyes. She's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not mad. You just need a chill pill. Your cat is 10. Our cat is about 10. I weighed her with me. You know, where like you weigh yourself and then you weigh yourself with your pet. She's like 10 pounds. So she's a little bigger than Vinny. <laughs> your dog is 110 pounds. Oh my. Your granny has a dog like my dog. I love her. I'll move that so you can see her face. Want a medium-sized dog? Plan on adopting. You never know when they're puppies besides looking at the paws. That's very true. See, they went off of her... Her dad was really little. 
so they thought she'd be really little, but they didn't show us, you know, her mom. And her mom, when we saw a picture, was a bigger Yorkie. So it makes sense. She, based on what I remember from the picture of her mom and then from seeing her dad in person, um, she has, like, the cuteness from her dad, but the size of her mom and the coloring of her mom, which is kind of cool. Don't you dare look out the window. Stop. No. No. We're not looking out the window. No bark. No. <laughs> so what you mean, Mom? Don't turn your bark back on. One of them is almost 200 pounds. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> uh, big dogs are really good for big pups. And like if it's a big enough dog, you can snuggle with them and you won't crush them. But little dogs are great for holding like babies. Hi, Nick. Hi and bye. Okay, sounds good. We'll be here. Hi, Airbon. Hi, baby. Hi, Mini Muffin. Hi, baby. Are you calm now? I feel like the minute I put her down, she's going to run and bark. Listen, we have some serious things about to happen. We have a death roll. And then we're going to go to church. So I can't have you barking. No. <laughs> Don't look out that window. <laughs> look, the cars are gone now. The school pickup already happened. Yeah. There you go. Oh, her eye. Sorry. Now, I will give you another treat. Don't look out that window. Stop that. There's a window on that wall, but if she sees a car, she goes crazy. Here. No. Bork. There's stuff to see. You know, I'm glad she can see out the window, though. It's obviously her one eye she can't see out of, but the other one, I'm happy she can see that far. But listen, <laughs> the barking today. Here. Sit. You gotta do a trick for this one. High five. Other paw. Speak. Ah! Now, don't speak anymore, okay? Just for, like, a little while. When Thomas goes off work, you can go bark out in that room and not in here. And, uh, it'll be fine. She's trolling. You see her? <laughs> Look out into the distance quietly. Uh, 56 pounds. Heavy when you got her. She used to weigh 80. Oh, my goodness. Yikes. Yeah, that's always scary. Like when dogs or pets in general get super overweight. It hurts their bones. Hi, Paul. All right, we're going to flag to never marry, right? The sin with this flag will never get married through the automated schedule. Yes. Uh, we should probably make sure she never gets pregnant too, right? Because I've had Sims autonomously get pregnant. So... Flag to allow affairs? Oh my lord. How do I flag to not get pregnant at all? Flag for no affairs? Would it, it wouldn't be an affair if they're not in a relationship though, right? I don't know. I've never done this, but I just, I don't want to mark them as played because I need the parents to keep aging. Um, and she can keep aging, that's fine. But I don't want her to get pregnant or married without us. <laughs> How do you turn it on? I clicked it through here. And clicked MC Command Center, and then flags. And then pregnancy. And then they're in here. You want your background sims to have an affair? Well, with the drama. Oof. But yeah, it was that easy. I assume you can do this on a sim, too. So, what about offspring? No offspring. That would probably be it, right? A sim with this flag will never bear children or cause pregnancy to happen. There. Okay. So, when we get them together, this is all just autonomously, but I'll make sure to take the flags off so it doesn't screw with anything. But until we marry her, she will have these flags so that she doesn't go get married to somebody else. Because I don't need that drama right now. <laughs> we have enough of our own. So that should work. Because she just aged to a young adult. I think I kind of want to keep her age. I'm assuming it was allowed for them to be older. I've not read anything saying that a female couldn't be older. So she'd be about a year and three months older. And I think that would be fine. That'd be a twist. And then Sophia and Marcy aged up. So those might be some autonomous 
weddings. We might have a pop-up saying they married someone. Who are we making flags for? Uh, Charlie's future lover. It's exciting. Okay, let's get to Sebastian's birthday party because I know we're all waiting. <laughs> I really, really like this stall. Minnie, please stop barking! Thomas is on the phone! I can't do it, guys. <laughs> Can you get up and go take care of yourself? I'll have a kid do the dishes. Uh, there's a lot of stress in this house. Was the cake eaten? That was technically at Louise's. Too much going on. I take that right here. Can you come and clean the dishes? And then mom could start the cake. <laughs> Butter, all right, now you can make our cake. And then we need to make sure all the animals are taken care of before church because assuming Sebastian's role is fine and we get to go to church and do the event, it lasts a while. Like it lasts a chunk of the day. So if we come home, I don't know if we'll have time for the animals. And they're kind of dying over there. So, let's see. If we could have you... And they're so dirty too. This is going to be a rough church day. If we do a proper church event, I mean... We could cheat their needs to full before we go. Otherwise, I feel like it'll take away from the event. Kind of like the weddings. And maybe for our first time doing the event, we could try it. Just cheat their needs and go. Because I don't even know what to expect. I think that would be alright. Yeah, because otherwise, it's like, I can't get them to church on time. If I get all their needs up right now. And it was different when they were in a rabbit hole because they weren't going to die in the rabbit hole event. But now that we're going to actually physically be with them. Um, if one of them is really like stinky or has to pee, it could just get really bad. <laughs> they might all die in the church, you know? And I just don't think that'd be a good church event. Oh, Stoon. I love her little hair, her new outfit. Her outfit's the same, but like her hair changing makes her look so different. When did you grow up? Yeah, we have a church. It was made for the wedding. So now we can physically go to church. But we didn't pre-start an event. So are we even going to be able to do an event? It's already a holiday. Add event. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, because it's not a holiday. It's religious gathering, right? Or is there two? Yeah. I think it's religious gathering. Time for your sim to gather with others sharing the same faith. I wonder what we need. Religious flock, a pianist, and a host. So the host would be the priest? Can we like do that? Oh, you don't know anybody. Who knows the priest? We're gonna try this out. <laughs> Everyone's dying to get in. You know the priest. Let's have you do it. We can set up the event and just... Maybe we'll set it to start at noon for today. Normally I have them go to church at 9, but we gotta do the birthday first. And hope it goes well. Otherwise, I don't know what will happen at church. Religious gathering. Host. Can you not invite someone else? Because wouldn't the host be the priest? Or maybe it doesn't matter, but he can't even invite his friends. Why not? Here? Oh, I see. So, he would have to be the host and then we invite them here, I guess. Only your controlled sims can talk on the podium. Uh, <laughs> then it looks like Charlie's gonna be preaching. <laughs> Think about that, follow, welcome in. Hi, can you lay down? Look, 
We're gonna make you a nice cozy bed. Yeah, good girl. Good idea. Chew that stick. Hi, Dizzy. There. We'll see how long she stays there. I don't think we need a pianist. I hope not. This says zero, zero required. Okay. So then we would need to invite our whole family. 20 maximum. Arthur, Charlie, Charles, Madeline. Well, is Charles going to be the other person then? If he has to be. Eloise, Juliet, Madeline. We'll bring the priest at least so he's there? What's happening? I'm planning a church event. And then I guess we just fill in the rest with townies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, so maybe full families? Oh, let's get Genevieve and Gabriel. But we don't want to go over 20. Okie dokie. At least everyone is dressed now. You guys live in town. Let's see. They move. It depends on if we want people only from town or if we want them from the next town over. They just grew up. What if he was there? That's so weird. He He's technically a day Auburn, right? But then he went and married some really old lady. I I don't know. How many more can I do? Wait. These are the rest of the Smiths? Oh, these are the Sands. My bad, my bad. So toddlers can't go then, can they? So our toddler will be sent to daycare. That's fine. This is the mayor. Oh, and then I'm out of room. Okay. Um... Do I have a family of three? The Pence? We could bring the Pence parents here. <laughs> we can bring them over once they're there. I'll just bring a group of people since there will be so many there. They won't all fit in the church. Yeah, I would pretend the toddler was at a Sunday school daycare, but in the game he'll be sent to daycare. Although he's about to age up. So should he age up first then? Or should we- we can just summon him there, I guess. For our son. Assuming he lives. Gosh, I hate this. <laughs> oh no. Uh, where's the pence? Here you are. Wait. Which one is the parents? Oh no. Joseph, Marigold. Eugene's the dad. Adeline? I think she's the mom. There we go. He better live. Oh god. Oh no. Alright, so this will have to be him, I guess. Let's try that. Can we choose the church, I hope? I don't see the church. Oh, wait, there it is. Whew. Start it at noon for today. We're going to the second service. <laughs> We're not going to the 9 a.m. <laughs> he better live, he just got a puppy, right? All right, so that means that will start at noon at the church. I haven't done an event like that in such a long time. I've never done the church event. So prior to that, we gotta do his birthday. We have like five hours less than in game. And it is Easter. I know we just had so many holidays, but since it's, you know, spring Sunday, it's now Easter. So we will have a grand meal when we come back. I don't think this dog's been fed. Go feed. Oh, I'm so worried for him. We just gotta get it over with. Add birthday candles. Sebastian, how are your skills? Yeah, there's no way you're getting those. It's shocking he didn't get imagination, but you know what happened? All the toys are upstairs. So that his whole toddlerhood, he hasn't had access to the dolls and, and the horse and stuff. And I took away the dollhouse. So he has not been able to build his imagination. Oops. Well, he just, he wasn't into imagination. He was into uh, movement and talking. That's fine. 
That's something to think about for his childhood aspiration. Well, I'm like, there's a doll here, but I don't think he can reach that. He has nothing in his inventory. All the toys were put upstairs. Crap. And don't let me forget, I'm gonna literally write it down. Charlie is supposed to get a present from winning the pastry roll thing. So we'll have to figure out what we want to give him. He's gonna be just really active, but like n no imagination. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> imagination zero, but maybe he'll be a 1720 bodybuilder. Are you ready? I'm not ready. Come here. Bring mom here too. Well, that means for his aspiration for the childhood one, maybe we'll give him the like motor skill one. That would work for him. And then he'll just be really buff when he grows up. If you max children's motor skill and age them into a teen, they are almost always completely buff. Have I rolled? Nope. Bringing them in the room. I'm stalling. This whole hour has just been a stall. Mini barking? Fake. It was set up. It was just a stall. I'm kidding, of course. Everyone wants to take care of you. Listen, I'm trying to get him in here so we can make it dramatic. Come on, buddy. Come here. Nope. Everyone just leave the child alone. No. Nope. They all want him. Stop. There we go. He's literally coming to you. Oh, hello, everybody. No more stalling. It's go time. Everyone's in here now. Oh, he's smiling. All right. If you're new here or just came in, Sebastian's about to have his birthday to age into a kid. To represent that about 50% of kids died before age 10, we have some death rolls through each, like, birthday. This is one of them. Um, it's a 1 out of 8, though. So we're going to roll a D8. If we roll a 1, he dies. And then we have to figure out, you know, how he died. If he rolls anything else, he lives. So it's a pretty low chance, but it's still a chance. Just do it, like ripping off a band-aid. <laughs> We're gonna play happy music. Mm. For good vibes, okay? Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. And then I'll grab the dice. How do you do this? Decades things. All of my rules are here. And then from there, it's, it's just a giant legacy through history. And you just incorporate aspects of history as you go. I really have to sit and add new stuff to the rules. And I've been dreading it. But anyways, I'm stalling again. <laughs> okay, come with me. Oh, that's the wrong screen. Oh, could you imagine? That would have been funny. I just left. Bye. Okay, the D8. Once I click it, it auto rolls. Are you ready? And thank you for the follow. Steady. Pray to that watcher, because we're about to go to church. You're welcome. Go, he just needs a two or higher. <laughs> that could have been so bad. <laughs> He's fine. Stalls death roll to end of stream. I kind of did that yesterday. He's fine. <laughs> Do you want to wear your Sunday best for your birthday? Here you go. For the pictures. Are you ready, buddy? Look at him. <laughs> He's so cute. Where's your puppy? Can you call him to you? Let's bring your puppy. He's coming. We can't have his birthday without the puppy. <laughs> he came to him all right let's get one more puppy toddler cuddle because once he ages up we won't have that can you please pet You guys are gonna grow up together. You ready? It's like I'm ready to blow out the candles now. Good, good, good. We need some corn dog for this party. 
I'm not gonna get everyone in here because it takes too long. So, will you do the honors? Help blow out candles for Sebastian. Ready? Oh, come on. <laughs> You're gonna make me miss it. Go for it. Hold up, hold up. No. Got it. <laughs> Good job, buddy. On, Happy birthday. Oh. Do your thing. Okay, we're gonna go out here. Mwah. This is the best. All right, I kind of have an idea for him. And I'll just let you have it. I was thinking dog lover. Seems pretty obvious. And then uh, give him the motor aspiration. Since, you know, we decided he has no imagination. Motor. Although I never know which one is the right one. I'll change it if it's wrong. He's just full on gonna be a dog lover. He's gotta. Him and that puppy can now grow up together. The dogs don't have any death rolls or anything, so we don't have to worry about the dog dying. Not till, like, they're old. Um, so they can now grow up together. Because that puppy will age up in, like, four or five sim days. Like, a year. And then it will be a big dog. And they can just be the best of friends. Especially because Sebastian will be in this house for a really long time. Because he just turned five. And Charlie will be married within a few years. So he's going to be here with that dog for a while. <laughs> now, <laughs> since Cass doesn't take away from the in-game time, we'll bring him into Cass. And then we'll go to church. So we need to give him a fancy outfit and everything. Uh, modifying Cass. Kids can go for a walk. I should get the walk mods back. Goes Although they will just kind of be running around. But yeah, I can get the one, because you know how walks take so long? There's a mod to make them last a shorter amount of time, and one for kids to walk them. And you could just pretend, you know, they put a rope around them. Or, really back then, he could have gone for a walk without um, putting the dog on a leash. So you could just pretend the leash wasn't there. The dog would just follow. Sebastian, let's see ya. Let's take off your modern clothes. Take off that hair and get a good look at your face. He's perfect. There's a leash replacement to be a rope. I need that. Oh, I love it. Yeah, do I point CC? There's definitely uh, a lot of it. I don't think I have a good hair for him. If you notice, I have technically six boy or seven boy CC hairs. Wait, oh, that is his hair. Oh, we're perfect. I don't have very many boy CC hairs right now. I need to get more. But that's literally his hair. Oh, that's so good. I think his teeth already missing too. And then we'll give him blonde eyelashes. Those ones look fine. And then he had little freckles. Um, Just the nose. Oh, he's so cute. Yeah, there you go. Wow! He's perfect! Just like the rest of them! We have technically had seven kids with this couple. And they all look amazing. He's so cute. Now, I feel like he should get a hand-me-down outfit. His toddler outfit was. So I'm gonna take a peek. At our... When the teens were kids. Because I don't remember exactly what they wore. So I want to be sure. Can I just look at the Baudelaire hashtag? That's not my hashtag. Hold on. He does look a lot like his mom. For sure. So his brother in blonde had the blue. With brown. But I think we will give him Charlie's. I think he wore the green. He was just in green, right? For his toddler outfit. So he will just take on Charlie's oldest outfit then. Or like kid outfit. Words. And then the boots too. He can wear those boots. He's getting hand-me-downs. <laughs> Alright, I can do that. I feel like since he's blonde, if I put him in blue, he would look too much like Arthur. But if I put him in the green, since Charlie wore that, 
it would be different enough. I do have a lot of CC. It's the best way to make your game look the most old fashioned. Yeah. But you definitely don't need it all if you want to play that way. You just have to use more of your imagination. Agent 2 teen looks like Madeline. Her name is Madeline. She was born before you started watching. That's amazing. Green, this one. That was Charlie's, right? I believe so. And then you get white socks. And then if we give you Charlie's boots, I believe he had those. Oh, he's so cute. And then give you your fingernails. I think that follow will come in. And then, I don't know if this is hat compatible hair, but I will check. Let's see. Do hats work on this? That one doesn't. <laughs> uh, any of them? That would work. Not that I'm putting that on him, but it would. That's a snow hat. Perfect. I thought I had downloaded... No, I still need Annie's hat, don't I? I need Annie's working hat. Alright, for now you're gonna be hatless, but... If I get that in my game, then I can uh, put a hat on him. That looks like his dad's. So this will be copy and pasted to Athletic and Hot Weather. Cold Weather will do our own. Or no, Cold Weather, we just had them wear that with mittens, didn't we? Because I don't have a proper outfit for them. Because this, I'm probably going to use for his formal. Just like when he was a toddler, unless I have something else. I don't have much in the boy department. Um, yeah, because I have like things like this, but I just don't love it. It doesn't fit our current vibe. And there's this that's new. It's supposed to be like uh, furs and skins, right? But it's just a onesie recolor. I wish it looked a little better. So I guess we'll just do what we did before, copy and paste that outfit to cold weather, make sure he has mittens and a hat. So I'll paste that in. Formal though, we do have to give him a formal, but like I said, he could wear something like that, which would be close to correct, or at least, you know, somewhere within the realms of correct. Or he can wear this like he did when he was a kid, which honestly looks better to me. He just has to wear tall socks with it. There's this one, but the sleeves, they just aren't right. A lot of these are medieval, so it gets rough. You can just have a, a upsized version of your toddler one. And just wear really tall socks. And just wear your same boots. Where are they? I haven't been giving them separate formal shoes. I just have them wear their boots. But in the future, as they get more money and stuff, then we could have it so they have, like, fancy shoes and such. And then this will be copy and pasted to his party. So I'll do that outside of this. Yeah. And then that top is so cute. And then sleepwear. Mom took out the seams and just added some fabric. Exactly. He's not that much bigger. Realistically, he's five. So... If we were to see him age from, you know, an infant up, it'd be really small increments. If she just kept changing it, it would work. Just add new fabric every time. I think that's the nightgowns we were using, even though they're kind of boxy. Hi, Pipstar, welcome in. Otherwise, I think we'd have to use a feminine one, and I don't think any of them worked out. Because they all have, like, ruffles. What's this? Oh... Cute. Yeah, these are all too ruffly. So I guess just wear that one. I think that's what the boys wore. I just wish it wasn't so boxy on the side. It's because they use, you know, a masculine, like, adult frame and then size it down. But that'll be fine. Take your fingernails. And then the rest, we have to go copy and paste. This would almost work. I just almost wish it was more like the dad's outfit. Or the boy's, this one. Like, if someone could resize this to a kid, please. Highly appreciated. Oh. That'd be a good one. Alright, let me copy and paste his outfits. I'll go back and cast, save them, and then we're going to church. 
and we'll see how church works. Okay, <clears throat> where are you at? Not you, wrong kid. Wrong blonde kid. Yeah, this looked cooler in the picture when I downloaded it, but it's literally a onesie. Dresser change. So, here's his every day. We're gonna copy this. And paste it to his athletic. I think I might. I mean, if you knew how to convert, it's probably not too bad. But for someone who doesn't know how, like myself, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> we just need to take it and make it smaller. Thanks, Mishroom. Paste. And then swim- Oh, I didn't even do his swimwear. Swimwear will actually be his... No, it won't be his nightgown. That's for the girls. Uh, I have to give him separate shorts. We'll do that in a second. Hot weather. And then cold weather. Alright, let's go edit the fine details and then we'll save them. I gotta say, the copying and pasting has been so nice. JB Hana! So nice. So that's your everyday. That's your formal. That's your athletic, because it's just the same as every day. Sleepwear. Party wear. Oh, I didn't copy formal to party. Oops. Let me just put it on him so we don't have to go out and in again. It's not a huge deal. Put on this. And then put on your longer socks. Alright, that's fine. So f formal and party are the same. And then, oop. Swimwear. I had been giving them these, just as if they had like some underclothes that were like shorts. And then take that, and then take some fingernails. I love decades. I could literally like, the possibilities are endless, because if you, the original decades challenge is 1890s to current time. And then if you take it and, you know, manipulate it to be different challenges based on history, you can do literally anything and everything. So even if you finish something or are bored of it, go choose a different location, choose a different time frame, choose a different family. Like, it's just so cool. Because even if we're, like, done with this, it'd be like, oh, we could go medieval. Like, we could do all kinds of stuff. You could start year one. Your Sims wouldn't be doing much, but you could. <laughs> It's cool, and the longer Sims 4 is out, the more CC is out for all those things. Like, historical CC. Alright, this one, we are turning into cold weather. Now, I do have a beanie. Like this. Oh, it doesn't work with his hair! Perfect. <laughs> you could go into the future. I don't love futuristic gameplay, because I like history. And futuristic gameplay is like, we don't know what's gonna happen. Unless you went into post-apocalyptic gameplay, that would be cool. But I don't like the futuristic of, um, you know, like flying cars and aliens. But post-apocalyptic would be neat. Writing scars for male sims to indicate they've been mauled by a bear. We were gonna do that, and I have them in my folder. I just never downloaded them. They get mauled by a bear quite a bit, though, if you have them hunt a lot, so just be careful. They might just be an entire scar at the end. So he can't wear this hat unless I change his hair. So maybe... Sebastian wore hats as a toddler, right? He grew up and now he hates hats. It's weird. Unless I can get a hat that works for him. But right now I don't have one. Alright, those should all be good then. That is Sebastian. Hi, Daphne. Look at him! He's the one holding the puppy! How does the game know? Oh my, he's the center of the photo and everything. He's like, yeah, I lived. Speaking of that, it's 1721, hold on. There you go. Change this one. The rest is correct. Wow. That is so adorable. When the game is all knowing. <laughs> Thank you for that follow, welcome in. Trying to get a good picture of him. No, don't put your arm out like that. Why you gotta do that? You look so cute. And the sisters... Wait, the girls are on one side and the boys are on... Oh, wow, this just worked out. We gotta find the perfect photo, though. Um, 
That was not bad, but he's looking down. I love when it works out. When you don't have to work too hard. That one's really good. I'll take that one. They're being goofy, but... There. Alright, so we have Maqua, Bear, Eloise, who is now a young adult, which is crazy. Oh, we should try to make sure her boyfriend... We'll summon her boyfriend to church, I guess. I didn't invite him. I meant to. Charlie Jr. Juliet. Sebastian. Mom. Dad. And Arthur. Ah, heck. Alright, we're gonna upload them. Yeah, I'll make sure to summon him because if we have a chance, I want them to, you know, try to get their friendship up as much as possible. So that they can get engaged and such shortly. They're so good. Are you questioning, like, how you summon him? Because if so, we use um, MC Command Center and then we click on a mailbox and you can summon him. And it will just teleport him to that lot from wherever he is in the fake Sims world. <laughs> Hi, Bertha. Welcome in. Okie dokie. What lifespan am I on? Custom. It's all custom. It's in the spreadsheet. So I just have it off for them. And then for the townies, aging is on, but I have it custom in MC Command Center. We perform a seance and summon him to church. Yeah, easy. <laughs> Definitely sounds like something they do. Let's call this to meal because it will be breakfast. And then our church event starts in two hours. Then Kubu! Oh, I just love them all. Yeah, it's a pain in my butt, but it's like the best way to do it. Normal just isn't stati statistical. Oh my goodness, words. Normal isn't like... It doesn't make sense for their aging if you're trying to be realistic. Short is obviously too short, and then long is ridiculously too long. So I had to make my own. Oh yeah, look at him. Hold on. Okay, good look at you. Look at him. He's wearing Charlie's hand-me-downs. Oh, I love him. You know what? I didn't change his eyebrows. Stop looking like that so I can see your eyebrows. When he doesn't have his eyebrows up. I think those look fine, but I didn't even change them. Hi. Did he get fed? That's a very good question. Um, yep. These are so cool. So this one looks like water, but it's actually food. So it's kind of like having two food bowls. But more realistic because they're actually getting water. Now, I do have the mod where dogs have a water ball, bowl that they fill with water and drink out of. But it's not this container, it's a different one. So, for now, that will work. But in the future, when we switch to a more nowadays container for dog water, it will actually fill with real water that they drink instead of eat. So that would be neat. Alright, it's 11. Oh, we're singing. Oh, he's dancing. You know what? He was always a dancer when he was a toddler. So the motor skill and the, all of that, the aspiration makes a lot of sense. He's always autonomously dancing. They're all so big. And normally I don't like when they're big, but this family has just been so... So beautiful in all their ages. <laughs> Not crying. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. The water bowl mod is from Little Miss Sam's. And it allows them to, uh... It's a separate water bowl. It just looks like the one in the game. Allows them to fill it and drink from it. And it actually looks like water. Juliet is so cute and she actually looks like a teen. So much is happening. All real fairy. Red Fox, thank Torky. you for the raid. Welcome in. And thank you for the follows. Welcome uh, in. Uh, We're working on extreme ball. decades. How was your stream? Uh, oh, Chorg. And obviously Chorg. somebody stinks. Ooh, now, when the event happens, is it just going to pop up? I literally haven't done an event. Oh, my hugs. Genevieve's over? Don't mind her arm freaking out, but whoa. Uh. How does this happen? Hello, welcome in. Oh. She's so pregnant. Melba. Ah. What if she goes into labor at church? Wiggle. It'll pop up to take oh, you yes. a lot. Okay, oh, it's gonna happen oh, in like sure. 10 minutes. I'm gonna fill their needs now. I can do it on that lot too, but just to be sure. 
I don't normally cheat needs ever, just so you guys know. But when we do special events, we do. Just so we can focus on the event and not who has to pee or not. So we're gonna fill needs for current lot. Look at him, he's so excited! <laughs> Genevieve, you came for my birthday? <laughs> oh, thank you for the shout out, Kate. I hope you had a good stream, Red Fox. I don't know if I missed a message, but... Nope. But I hope your stream went well. Thank you. Church labor? Could you imagine? The whole church is helping her. <laughs> uh, we did Sebastian Dolly. He's good. Uh, we're waiting on dad's death rolls. I know you don't want to hear it. But I'm going to start the end of life death rolls a little later. I think 40 is too young if you at, um, account for the kid deaths for average life expectancy. So I'm thinking 45, 50, or 55. Probably 50. But anyways, we have another roll once Genevieve gives birth. It will be a very small roll, but she has a very small chance of dying in uh. childbirth. <laughs> Oh, but she better not. We spent a lot of time with her and done a lot of work to get her where she is. It should pop up in five sim minutes. Jen was so happy he lived. She, she had to come over, literally. Stream was good. Almost finished your build, but not quite. Nice. What are you building? I feel like 50 is good because if they died on their first roll, they were 50. So obviously they didn't die of old age. Probably some complication. And then each year would add, you know, another number. So 51, 52, 53. Let's say they live their first 10 rolls. They're at least 60. And for the time, that would be pretty decent. If they're extra lucky, they might be 65. If they're super lucky, they could be 70, but it'd be really rare. So I think for now, that would be good. And then obviously we'll up it as time goes on. No roll for dad today. He would have had a roll, but he's only 41. So we're going to change it. Since he didn't die on his first roll, thank goodness. All right, let's start. I think this will end Easter. But it's fine. They're all just for, you know, pretend anyways. We'll just pretend to have Easter dinner when we come back. It'll be a holy baby. I think that baby would have to have a name from the Bible if it was born in the church. Host needs a refrigerator, a counter, and an oven. What are we doing at this religious gathering? Okay, so there... You can't see behind my camera, but there are no, like... Traits. Or... Not traits. Things you have to do for this. So it's just for funsies. Now, I didn't think this one through. Nobody can speak at this podium unless I place a podium. Because that's a fake podium. So... Let's see. I have all the expansion packs, but this specifically is just a lot of CC. There would be if it hadn't been a holiday. Oh, really? Oh, that's awkward. Holiday makes it so there aren't goals. Well, heck. This one is technically a lectern. But this one's a wedding arch. Well, we will have our own pretend church then. For this time. Could we just move this one? This one's literally only for weddings. Just kind of tuck that over there for weddings. This one would count as a podium. So we can at least have someone look like they're speaking. I want the priest to be up there. I could add the priest to my family and move him out again. I'm not against it. Just so that we can make him go up there. We have MCC and UI cheats. Those are good ones though. If you're going to have any mods, MCCC is a must. Is everyone here or are they on their- Oh my goodness. <laughs> are they on their way? Why are you logging me out in the middle of watching a stream? Who knows what's happening to Twitch anymore? <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't even question it. We need to summon... By name- Nope, not by name. List of sims. I need Lawrence. And then Pierre is right here. Now, there's something I never did before and we'll do it right now. He needs to wear this outfit for all of his outfits. I just never got the chance to do it. Juliet's so excited for church. <laughs> Sebastian's gonna be an uncle. He would be real excited. Paste outfit. The seance has begun. We are now summoning. Exactly, you got it. 
Um, he actually has sleepwear and underwear because he was one of the first townies I dressed. I don't do that anymore, but since he has it, he can keep it. All right, there we go. That's our priest. Since he lives alone, literally not even on an actual lot, he's typically, or technically homeless to the game, but not, he wouldn't actually be. I'm gonna add him to the family, only so that I can control him. Because then he can give a speech. Now, if he gives a speech, I haven't used one of these in forever in the game. Probably since university came out. I think that means everyone can watch him. So, like we just discussed, since it's technically Easter, our religious gathering didn't work. And we don't have goals. What if we cancel it and cancel Easter and restart it? Will it let us do another? It's currently happening. Should we try it and just do it again? But we'll already be on the lot? I want to see the goals. I'm going to do it. Because now Easter's back. Let's end Easter. We're still going to pretend it's Easter. And yes, they're all going to say they're sad or whatever. But um, let's try it. I don't know because it's technically still a holiday here. But I did cancel it in-game. So let's... Let's try. Does it let you start it again? The actual holiday? I don't know. I've never done this. Religious gathering. We got a gold medal for that. Hey, technically he can host because I have him in my family right now. Religious flock. Obviously we want the whole family. And then... Make sure we get Genevieve. It's not going to work. Well, too late. We'll bring the Smiths. And I need Genevieve. Genevieve, where are you? Are you at the bottom? Or are you technically here with us? Genevieve, Gabriel. And then I need... The one dude, but I did just summon him, so he should be here. The Pences are supposed to come. Uh, these two? No, these two. Those are the parents. <laughs> you're good, you're good, no worries. Either way, we'll have fake church and fake Easter. And then anybody else? Can you guys come? You'll have to leave a kid home. Uh, bring the parents, leave your kids. Maybe they're at Sunday school. And then we're not gonna have a pianist. We want to be here at the church. We will start it now. We'll try that. Yeah, no, it no worky. So we can't have church on holidays. So you know how I was saying that we had Easter on Sunday? Because Easter's always on Sunday. Maybe for the game we could put it on Saturday. And then it we wouldn't have it right after our winter holidays either. That way we could always do church on Sunday. Sebastian is alive. Hi, love. Winging it, literally. You don't know unless you try. Parents could teach kids about the Bible and what's it for? Of course. That's why they're at church anyways. But yeah, um, for the future, we'll, we'll move Easter here. I could probably move it right now, no? Yeah, I can. Here. Because obviously, like, you know, each day is three months. The weeks don't mean anything. The seasons don't mean anything. So Easter can be on a Saturday and we can pretend it's a Sunday. This is going to be a thing. It's super annoying. You just got logged out again. I don't I don't know what's happening. Did you change your password? Is something weird happening? Uh-oh. It always lags because I have the additional icons. Have to give it a second. There we go. Um, I'm going to... Actually, I can't delete it because it's currently happening. But I can add a new one here so we don't forget. Oh, not an event. A uh, holiday. You just did. Maybe that's the issue. Maybe so. Maybe like, I don't know, cookies or something are screwing up. <laughs> Technology things. How do you move in a calendar event? You have to delete it and then remake it. And you can't make holidays on the day you're on. So you have to make them ahead of time. The events you can make day of. But obviously it seems to be the events glitch out if there's a holiday on that day. Most of us have learned something. <laughs> All right, this is Easter. 
We don't do decorations right now. Day off school, yes, it's a Saturday. And we're pretending a Sunday. Um, and then we have attend holiday ceremony. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Grand meal. Fire. Tell stories. And thankful spirit. Alright, so once this day passes... Actually, it'll be once spring pops up on the bottom of again, bottom again, we will delete Easter, and then we'll have this Easter. My dog is moving. My dog is gone. That's okay. She's allowed to move. <laughs> she has finally calmed down. You feel better. Good girl. She's literally barked from, obviously you saw it on stream, but she's been doing that since like the morning. Crazy day. All right, that should work. So today we're just gonna have a pretend church service. Um, and then we'll go from there. So the next Sunday we'll do the full event, whatever that entails. Cause like, can they come watch him? Watch him give a speech. Can they sit and watch? Like, I don't know. We're gonna test it. And are they? Oh, we get so many last exceptions in this lot. Come on, everybody, go inside. It's pretend church time. No, she stands up to watch. So they could pretend to listen? Huh. Yeah, that's why we're not decorating for holidays, because it's just not really a thing yet. I have the day written down that we're getting a Christmas tree, don't you worry. Can you all just come in and sit so I can take a picture at least? Um, what is in the traditions, or not the traditions, but like what you have to do for the religious gathering when it actually does work? Are you all in the graveyard? Come on, children. Get in the church and then I'll lock you all in. <laughs> I won't actually, although it could be funny. Go sit. I might have to turn their autonomy off if I want to get a picture here. I'll turn their autonomy off for a hot second. Um, off. Pretend church. It's supposed to be cooler when you have things to do, but I don't know what they can do. Like, I don't know what you're supposed to do. I've never done it. Sit. He's actually listening to him. From back there, he's just standing. Um. Oh, you're not our kid. I'm like, why'd your hair change color? Hey, he came and sat to listen. I can make him sing. That'd be cool. I'll Yibs. take this immersion. Yibs. <laughs> Yibs. Uh, very serious. Freezer. Host give speech, pray Cream. number of times uh, use religious Mides interactions. Zarkon. Oh yeah, we could try some of those. Nobi, nobi. Yebu. Kimba. That's Sebastian. Or, sorry, that's Arthur. That's Sebastian. Oh look, they came in. Oh, they're warming up by the fire. Oh. So, could we cheat his religion skill? I know it's a mod, so I don't know if you can cheat it up. Wow, hey, some people actually came in. <gasps> Genevieve's here! Hi, everybody! Look at him! If we could cheat his skill, we could max it. You hit tab, Dizzy, like on your keyboard. Genevieve's ready to pop, and it better be like triplets, all right? I want three babies. All right, I will turn their autonomy back on now so that they can mingle with each other on their own here. I got some screenshots to look like church. Next Sunday in game, uh, we'll be able to play it with the actual events. I turned their autonomy off. That's why, Katie. <laughs> These guys, though, that I'm not controlling. They walked in on their own. But my family's sitting. That's because I turned their autonomy off and told them to sit. <laughs> uh, These two technically have selected religion, so they might be able to talk about it. 
Discuss holy book teachings. The other teens and young adults, I need to actually give them the religion. There you go, they're talking about church things. Is that it? They gotta up their skills. Oops. I don't oppose you. Oh, look, another dude. Ooh, Eloise. Isn't that your boy? Let me make sure. It is. Oh, he's not aged up. Hey, guess what, buddy? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, God, where'd you go? Hello? 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 <laughs> where'd you go? <laughs> Lawrence? <laughs> okay, bye. I'll teleport him back. Look at her! This little girl is hysterical. She's a townie, but she's just always sitting somewhere. I broke him. Uh-oh. I hope not. It's like, I don't want to age up, see ya. Wait, is he right here? Oh, here he is. Found him. It worked. He's a young adult. He just teleported into a pew, apparently. She's everywhere, but typically just, like, sitting. <laughs> I'm not sure. What's going on with her? She's so cute, though. Okay, Eloise. You're Eloise, right? I gotta make sure when they're in different outfits, it's rough. He teleported away. Um, go? Because you can't talk about religion things because you haven't chosen one, right? Yeah. So I need to get all of our kids who are older to read that book. The holy book. But for now, you could just go chat with him. Laughing. No, not a wedding. They're at church. Whoa! Phones in church? <laughs> Are you hugging in church? I don't know if that's allowed. Listen, this is a different time. They're all talking. What's happening? Yeah, I definitely need to put some real holy books here because I only have the fake ones. He's still talking. No one's listening. <laughs> Hello, Nanny. Welcome in. Oh, no. These guys are listening. The Pence family. They're very good. I do love when Sims just all talk amongst themselves, you know? I always think that's sweet. Oh, look, he's talking to, um, this would be his uncle now, right? Right? Barlene no. Yorid. No, this is his brother in law. He's trying to teach Sunday school to the children. Listen, this is their first church service. This is their first church service in a church. They're not sure how to uh, <laughs> uh, compose themselves. Are you playing Blick Block? Listen, that is not invented yet. Ugh. Oh. Let me... I can go in here, right? I'm gonna grab some holy books and put them out. Like the real ones. Holy... Holy book. Tabby! Woo. Thank Half you for the six-month resub. Crazy how time flies. Zero. It does fly, doesn't it? Welcome back. I appreciate that. I don't know where I'm gonna put these books. Do they slot? Oh, they slot into the back. <gasps> my immersion, my heart. There will just be lots of books. These are technically hymn books. These are supposed to be the Bibles. But uh, these are the real Bibles that they can actually, like, use. With them on. Unfortunately, they don't have any other coloring. We'll put one on each thing. Heck, we'll put one on each. There'll be six in here. There's a mod that makes phones invisible that I might need to look into, so at least you wouldn't see it. Mom, thank you for the bits. And then I have a mod to turn off them using their phones, but it doesn't work for the, like, teen animations when they take selfies and stuff. They will do that no matter what. Um, and then you can mute the phone. You can also give them the technophobe lifestyle. That helps too, but nothing seems to get rid of it completely, which kind of sucks. I wouldn't mind getting 
the scroll one. Because the invisible one might be weird. Because it looked like they're looking at their hands. The scroll one would be cool. Or like, you know, the paper pad thing. Because then at least it would look like they're doing something productive. <laughs> ben, thank you for the gift sub. We are in a hype train. If we finish it, we'll do a sticker giveaway. Oh no. Oh my goodness, Minnie. Uh, we'll do a sticker giveaway and we'll garden. Making sure she wasn't with the cat. Um, and yes, all the CCs in that dock. Most of the church CCs. What? Huh, <sighs> is she on the stairs? You're what? Okay, good. It's been stressing me out. Sorry. Um, all the church CC is basically two packs. It's the get to church and like take me to church or something. So if you just search church in there, it'll be in the CC dock. I think that's literally where all of it's from. All of this is from there. Some of these are in-game items. These statues are. What's going on? So many distractions today. The train is coming. It sure is. Here you go. Oh no. All my buttons don't work for chat because my passwords change. Oh. You know, it's good I have tomorrow off. <laughs> I need it. I'll fix that later. What are you doing? Oh, good pan. Wow, that was impressive. I can't focus on stream today. You guys are crazy. Okay, we're coming in here. I'm just in here. I'm wearing my holy jeans. I'm trying to keep where it needs to be. Thanks. It's been a time. I was saying Hi, puppy. Did you bring your guitar in? Oh, look at her. She's holding it. You brought your guitar? Okay, good luck. Uh, they're gonna not follow. Welcome in. Do you have your guitar, puppy? Will you play us a tune? Oh, they could play... Well, actually, I don't know if they played music in church back then. They sang. I assume so. Minnie, play us a song. Play us a tune on your little guitar. Tune it's on the hype train. He's done with work, so now Minnie can bark out there if she wants. Hi. Are you listening to him? He's going outside. You're staying here. Play your guitar. Hey. Hey, you. Play that guitar for us. Yeah. Show stream your skills. I like how she's holding it. Hi, Maya. Welcome in. Are you holding it? Are you gonna play for the church? She's like, what? You gonna play for the church? <laughs> She's like, yes! <laughs> Mom, thank you for the gift sub. Minnie would like to play a song for you all. It is called, My Guitar. <laughs> okay. You're good. You sit here, you hang out, you go bark out there, do whatever you need. I was placing Bibles, right? Yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. So what up, now, I don't even know. Let's see. So these guys haven't discovered religion. These guys have. So what if we have like Eloise? Can teens discover religion? We'll do one at a time. Oh, look. So She's breathing. Oh, oh, the priest is out. Wait. Where'd you get this suit? Huh? Is Charlie fishing or talking to someone about fishing? Oh, thank goodness. I thought he was out fishing. He's learning about fish. Hello, Marie. We are in a hype train. Level 2, 11%. If we finish it, we'll do a sticker giveaway for this one. And we will garden. If we finish the goals on screen as well, we'll do a sticker giveaway too. Like, if you finish them before the end of stream. It's taking her a while to discover religion. Oh, look! They're autonomously picking up the books! My heart! Don't put them on the fire! You know they'll burn, boy. 
don't even. I can't move it. Um, hey, can you go discover religion? The kids are in here. S, thank you for the gift sub. Aww. Look at these two. That looks like Juliet, but it's not. I don't think it's Juliet. Where'd everyone go? The event's still going on. Oh, we're hanging out in the uh, cemetery. Or the graveyard. Graveyard. Are we flirting in a graveyard? Listen. I don't think this is appropriate activities. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Genevieve, this is not the place to sit before you give birth. Oh my, what are you doing? Why? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Alright, you're the only one doing something good right now. Oh my goodness. We did learn cemetery and graveyard, so I always think pet cemetery, separate from the church. Graveyard, church. Are you guys stealing Bibles? They're stealing Bibles. I'm so done. <laughs> Flir oh wait, she's coming over here, alright. What did you just see? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I wanted a wholesome church experience. Oh my gosh, scandal left and right. I'm just borrowing them. Of course. Why are we all out here? So, apparently, we're gonna have to, like, lock people in the church. Oh. My. This was just our test church service, you know? Are you supposed to be standing up here? Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? And they're leaving. This was, this was just a test. <laughs> it, it will be better next time. It is 5 p.m. Church literally can last all day. All right, I'm gonna end this lovely event. One minute on the hype train, level two, 39%. I'm gonna send them home. Wow. <laughs> now, this is not gonna be Easter for us anymore, so we don't have to worry about that. Anna, thank you for the 100 bits. Overall, you know, no one died yet. So, that's pretty successful. This is what goes on at the rabbit hole, for real. This is what we were missing. Chi Chi, love. Mom, thank you for the bits. <laughs> yeah. And Alice. Thank you for the two-month resub. Sock, 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 All my Sims wear socks, 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 socks. Honestly, I wasn't sure. Oh no. Why? They've had church for like almost six hours now, months. and it was only halfway done. So it must be a 12 hour church event. Thank you, Alice, welcome back. Which, uh, that sounds like a long time. Um, we need to travel back home. I need to kick him out of the family. Where are you? Hello, sir. Now, I need to not do this where he gets deleted. We have to move him. We're on level three of the hype train now, four minutes, zero percent. No baby yet. I think it comes Monday. And thank you, Dizzy. She's like, can't settle today. <laughs> She's going crazy. I need to do MC maintain. We need to move him into a new household. Actually, I think I had moved him into a random household and then took him out. Let's just put him in his own household. And I'm going to flag him. I don't know. I guess if he gets married on his own, we would get a new priest. Otherwise, we could flag him to not marry. We'll let the game decide. For now. You finished a croissant. <laughs> I dropped my croissant. Annie, I thought you died. I thought of you last night or whenever I, I tagged you somewhere in Sims chat. Because I thought of you in that moment. And I looked up your last message in Discord and it was like a week before. And I was like, what happened to her? Are you alright? Welcome back. Alright, now we can send them home. 
Family is all good. Wait, is the puppy with us? There's no way. I don't think the puppy's with us. Puppy's with us now. All right, go back home. I'll leave Genevieve on her own. If she wants to come over, she can. She has a key. But since it's not Easter now, it's just a normal Sunday. And she's very, very pregnant. We'll just let her, hopefully, be at home. Because when she does go into labor, I hope she's at home. I think if they go into labor on another lot, that, like... The baby teleports with them as an item. But I really don't know. <laughs> You're sick and in the middle of moving. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the moving. And are you still sick or is that a new sickness? Either way, I hope you feel better. Two minutes on the hype train. Okay, we are back home. As far as chaos goes. We should do a farm roll, but honestly, I might put farm rolls on Monday. Because we never plant on Sunday. So we'll do a farm roll probably when we plant. Sebastian already aged up. So at this point, our next exciting thing, aside from planting the next season... Is the babies that will come whenever they will. I'm assuming one day in the game. But, whew. She looked like she was in third trimester when we saw her. And based on where she was last night, or yesterday's stream, she should be in third trimester now. New sick, also dentist tomorrow. Too much going on. Well, heck. No wonder you've been... I can't think of words. <laughs> AFK. That'll work. <laughs> All right. Let's finish any farm chores, but no excess cleaning. Just make sure, like, we didn't take care of the cows or anything. You been sick for, like, a month? Jeez. It's not allowed. Oh, you're not chicken boy any Arthur is, but you could help with the chickens now. You had a cold turned into a chest infection? Turned into, I don't even know what that third thing is. Sheesh. I miss you too, Annie. 40 seconds on that hype train. Go scatter feed, collect eggs. Um, and we might have to trade some chickens off. I really haven't been paying attention to the chickens. They are background chickens. And then who wants to help take care of these? Call over Mildred? That and the fact you never rest enough after your chest infection. Oh, that's right. You're really bad asthma. I remember when you were super sick. Was that last year or the year before? How long have you been here, love? Remember when you were so, 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 so sick and you were in stream? Oh man. Oh, the horn. What year was that? 2020, right? But like the beginning? Or no? I don't remember. But yeah, you gotta take care of yourself. You're on steroids? Well, jeesh. I hope they work out. I will travel across the pond <laughs> and make you rest if you don't listen. The pond. You mean the giant ocean? Oh, uh, that's scary, Marie. Any illness is terrifying right now. This was last year. This time last year. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I remember because you were home so much, so you were in stream, but you were super sick. Well, heck. All right. We finished level two there, right? Or three. Level two. Complete at level three. Alright, let me give out 200 points. Just a small boat across the pond. Ah, oh, yes. Just uh, back float over to her, you know? It's not that far. Uncle used to say just to hop and skip over the old pond. You know, just whatever ocean is there. One of them. Okie dokie. That's all taken care of. We're on Sunday in the game. We're good. We can just chill now. Until we get a notification that there's labor. I'm very, very excited. More excited to see her at her kids as toddlers. But excited for the babies regardless. Hoping that it's babies. I'll bring soup, but no problem. So it'll be hot when I get there. We won't heat it in a microwave. Listen, Katie. Things heat up great in the microwave. You just have to really nuke it. You put it in for like 45 seconds to a minute, stir it up, put it in again. If it's still not hot enough, repeat. And then by the time you get to eat it, it's like burning. <laughs> Easy. When you could have put it in a pan for a few minutes, but no, no, no. That would be too simple. 
putting on my TV while I pack so I won't be in chat, but just had to let you know I'm live. I'm glad, because I was a little bit worried. Hence why, I don't know if you saw me, I tagged you in Sims and said, are you alive? <laughs> in Discord. Because I'm like, what the heck? I haven't heard from you. Where'd you go? Hey, our Bible. They keep putting it up here. I try to keep it there so I see it. Speaking of that, let's make sure that these kids choose their religion. Or don't I have to click on her now? Hold on. We'll have to do this for Genevieve too, because I don't think she did. That is so true though. If you are heating it up in something that's not paper, uh, it is so hot. I normally have to use paper towel or something to get it out of the microwave. And I use the microwave a lot, I do. It's bad, but I do. Control world religion. Auto assign religion to Sims on visited lots. Well, give religion to present Sims. Remove religion from other present Sims. So could we make certain Sims, if they visit our church, a part of their religion? The watchers here. You got rid of a microwave years ago? I mean, how do you do quick things like microwave popcorn? I mean, it's great for that. Select a faith. So, we are in worship of the watcher, of course. So now she should be able to do religious interactions. Let me test this theory. Because since we weren't going to the physical church and stuff, um, must attend a book study first. So we need to have a book study. How do you do that? Is that on here? I think I've seen it before. We haven't messed with this mod much. Only a tiny, tiny bit. So I gotta learn it. Religious events attend a study group. So, like, we could have them attend a study group after their church service on Sundays and stuff like that. Interesting. Get initiated. Like, huh? Select a faith. Show skill instructions. Whoa. At level one, Sims can do basic. With level two, they gain more of those. And when they pray, they get their needs filled up by 30 points. By level three, Sims who are initiated can pray for other Sims. See, I hate that they can pray for their needs. Because when you're trying to play realistically, you don't just pray and all of a sudden you don't have to go to the bathroom anymore. You know what I'm saying? Sims are initiated can pray for other Sims. Distribute pamphlets and ask for donations. Level 4, Sims can convert others and work as ceremony official. Level 5, Sims can preach and pray for everyone present. Like, I would love to get them max, but I guess you'd just have to have them not pray unless they're in church. Because if we're cheating their needs at church anyways, so that we can focus on the event, they could pray at church and it would be fine. But I wouldn't want them to, like, pray before bed because all of a sudden all their needs go up. And then all your hard work is gone because it doesn't matter <laughs> oh sebastian is alive church was a little uh scuffed but i'm learning how that mod even works and apparently how the event system works all right charlie now you're a teen can teens you've already read the book can you discover religion Okay, he can. So, you're in Worship of the Watcher. Arthur, have you read the Bible? No. So, I'm going to have him go discover religion. Now that we're actually going to go to church, this is more important for the gameplay. There's no Halloween in Zimbabwe? There's no Halloween in a few places. Which I didn't know for a long time, but... <laughs> the more I've streamed, the more I've learned. But that's interesting. Do you have something in place of it? Or like the day after? Because I know for them, they don't... My Sims in this time zone and period, they don't have Halloween either right now. And we celebrate All Saints Day the day after. So that's pretty interesting. No, interesting. All your stuff from your inventory is gone? Is it a bug? Like your household inventory or your Sims inventory? That's not good. Arthur has discovered religion. Perfect. So now, he can select Worship of the Watcher. And then Juliet, when he's done with the book, will have you choose. And then next time we see Genevieve, we'll try to get her and her husband to choose as well. 
Okay, I don't think anyone took care of the pets out here. Uh, we'll clean the shed tomorrow when it's not Sunday, since it's not super dirty. Can you call out Nutmeg? And then you, if you're done with the Bible, come call out Mildred. Let's make sure they're taken care of. It's hard because in winter they don't really come out because it's cold. And then we forget to take care of them. Hello. They're probably getting pretty old. In your Sims inventory. I have not run into that and I hope I don't. So I'm not sure if it's like from Sims or a mod. But yikes. That is a horse. He's a special horse. <laughs> Obviously it is a like retexture recolor of the llamas. So he makes some really funny noises. I guess honestly it looks more like a pony mixed with a donkey. But it's our fake horse. Oh my. Are you Did she just go and clean that and then run away? Okay. Chickens. They're all fed it looks like. Ooh, that's not supposed to be there. Let's trade some chickens for random supplies. Yeah. It's more of a pony. I, I like to pretend that this would be their horse. Really, they'd have more than one. And I could put out some fake horses. But it would tower over this horse. The only reason I haven't. Because my fake horses look like real ones. So they're bigger and more realistic. But they don't move. That one, since it's a llama, it moves, has interactions, but there's only one of them, and it doesn't really look like a working horse. That's where you just have to pretend. But we could lay out a big horse. I think in the future, when we have, like, a pasture, when we expand and put fake big horses, then, like, that's when I would place the, uh, fake ones. Because those ones look good. Here, I'll show you if you haven't seen them. They're pretty cool. Um, I just like that we get to interact with this one. Horse. I have... Oh, we need money. This is just for show. A bunch of these. Obviously, he's gonna be covered with snow. But they look like proper-sized big horses to the Sims, you know? And they're so good. But they don't move. And obviously, you can't take care of them. So they're just for show. Here's this one. But yeah, they're really cool. And you can get the ones that work with pose packs. There's some pose packs that use these so that you can like pose your sim riding on it or petting it or feeding it or whatever for pictures. They're so good. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is our baby pony horse that we take care of. Yeah, and then we have some bigger horses. I know, this one looks like his baby. They only move if they get possessed by a ghost. That's, that's right, it's happened. Since Sims is updating old packs, do you think they'll add horses? That'd be so long from now. I'm hoping and betting on a horse kit. I don't know if we'll get that lucky, but we can hope. But yeah, and then what I used to do for these horses, if we wanted a baby horse, I would size them down to like here. And then it would kind of look like a really small horse. These are all CC, so these ones are just decorative objects, but this one is an override of the llama. But we can still have llamas, too. It's separate when you're in the menu to buy an animal. Hey, a horseshoe. Oh, that's debug. That's cool. It's alive! That was like... Was that a 12-hour subathon? I think it was. And we were at the very end. I was a little delirious. And the ghost haunted. <laughs> uh, one of the horses. The non-moving ones that made it move. What a time. It was just bored. It's just a baby. It was crazy. I was like zoned out and then that happened. But yeah, so he's our pretend horse. Now this cow is a highland cow. Uh, Not sure if they're for the area, but since it was a CC cow, we wanted to try it out. So that's why this one has horns and the long hair. But that's just a retexture of the cow. Not even, I guess it is a retexture, but it's also, it's a separate entity, so you can get the normal cows and the normal llamas. But you can also get these. Me, too. They should have made it so that you can, like, either place a bigger barn or 
place an object that would be put into a building that you built. So you could build a barn. Place an object that spawns animals so they could like walk around in your barn. Ooh, totally missed opportunity. Like the chicken coop, you can have a bunch of chickens. That's good. Eight chickens per coop seems to be pretty, pretty nice. Cause you could imagine them all living in there. But one animal? Oh, are you autonomously playing your violin? Beautiful. I love it. Now all their needs are max because of church, but Alice, I will still yeah. have them have a quick dinner. We'll just, oh, did you just grab orange juice? We don't even have oranges. Let's do a quick stew. Now, did you discover religion in here? Oh, Wait, you're uh, Eloise. Uh, Wrong, Sim. Go discover religion. Uh, He's playing for him. So cute. The hype train finished? Yeah, finished a while ago. <laughs> for Roby Physique. Fuzzo. You can do that, and it's crazy. <laughs> if you use tool mod and stuff, you can get all <laughs> intricate and make it small and hide it. But I'm waiting for a modder to figure out how to put multiple animals in that one, like with it being big. That'll be good. I don't know if it's possible, but we've seen some crazy mods. It's gotta be, right? With enough time and knowledge, someone will do it. I'm greedy and wish other animals could have babies, Ooh, right? Hey, Why can't we have little baby cows? Make it so you can have like three cows in the barn so that you can breed them. Look at him. Oh. And then uh, baby horses or baby llamas for the game. And then, you know, while you're at it, add horses. And you know, if you're gonna add horses, you might as well add pigs. And if you're gonna add pigs, you might as well add some sheep. And if you're gonna add sheep, you might as well add some goats. Just give us a huge farm animal pack. That would be wonderful. Did she actually finish the food? Or did she not? Did you? All right, cake for dinner it is. Call the meal. <laughs> I'm surprised. They tried to be special. You know, they tried to be like, we'll do llamas, since llamas are a sim mean. Instead of a nice sheep, they gave us llamas. And they gave us a cow, which is good for milking and all that. That made sense. But where's the horse? Even if they kept llamas and gave us a horse and a cow too, that would have been perfect. And then the chickens? I would have been very happy oh, to so give a mouse a cookie. Whoa. Exactly. Oh, no. Literally. Is that the dog replacement? Oh, thank you. That'll be good. Cake for oh, dinner because she didn't make well, dinner well, and it's already well, so well, late. Eating broody. up some leftovers. <laughs> I am pretty sure in the middle of the night we're going to get a notification <laughs> that someone's in labor. Horses was such a missed opportunity. No, most harms definitely don't have llamas, but I think that was, you know, Sims' touch with the llamas instead of the sheep. Since Sims is quirky, we try to play so realistic, but Sims on its own is not a super realistic game for everything. The dog replacement is Sims 3. The leech? Uh-oh. Your phone changed it? That's all right. Yabba New no Sims Bucci. 4 update, which one? What is it? No bones. Hi, have you gotten attention lately? <laughs> Arthur will help take care of you. <laughs> you look like you're doing okay. You have food still? Hi, puppy. It'll be cute when that's a big, big dog. Is that one Sims 4? That looks like it might be Sims 4. Okay, we need to get them all to bed. Now, I know they're not super tired because their needs were cheated, but we gotta get them back on their schedule. Go pee. Now, is our weather gonna go back to normal? Laura, or Laura, thank you for that sub with Prime. Welcome to the Sunflower Squad. Time to get back on track. No more cheating needs. <laughs> go to bed. You can 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 go to bed. 
You can go to bed. Oh, he gets to sleep in the little bed now. And then when Charlie moves out, he'll sleep in the big bed. <gasps> wow. How the tables have turned. So we can move this bed up then. Oh, hold up. We've got a pregnancy start. Ms. Hakawan and Niba, Niba are pregnant. Oh my, <laughs> I said I was gonna quit the game. I gotta go fix that. <laughs> Tony, think of that follow, welcome in. I knew that was gonna happen because it happened with the other couple who got pregnant before marriage. They ended up marrying. Now Arjuna is married to Hondo Onaka. <laughs> Star Wars strike again. Oh, you're right, Charlie doesn't move out. Um, well, things are going to get real awkward then. Yikes. Um, where did she move in? I gotta go see this. I could delete them. Someone else said they deleted them in their game and it was fine. So I'll just delete the Star Wars characters. It's not like we're going to go to that world. And if we did, I mean, I'm sure you could somehow spawn them in again, maybe. <laughs> Or just go on a whole new save. Where did you just move into then? Oh, uh, we can favorite you. He's not here. Where does she live? Oh, dear lord. Don't- Oh, they had their baby? But I didn't see that the baby was born. <laughs> what the heck is happening? <laughs> uh, yeah, here, let me save. Oh my gosh. The image. Why? <laughs> I'm gonna have to unmarry them officially. What happens if I just delete a sim from the game that someone was married to? Do they just automatically become unmarried? Or will it just think they're married? What is this baby's name? Brayden. Did I miss a notification? When we were taking pictures? When the heck were you born, boy? Oh, no. Oh, he hey, Pierre gave a successful speech. I don't know when that baby was born. Pretty sure they're just gone. Well, let's um get out of here. I cannot believe this. Wow, he doesn't even have a name anymore. Thinking the family tree will be blank image, no name. He delete Star Wars, dude. Which is fine. Let me go see her. I don't even. I don't really know how to make her get divorced. We can force it through MC, I'm sure. Where do you guys live? Right here. Wait, why are you marked as play? Oh, because I just edited you. Let me go visit her. Let me take a peek. You weren't listening for the last five minutes. Oh, you know, just some Star Wars marriage. Listen, when did you have this baby? I'm assuming that's a boy. All right, you. Why? <laughs> Why have you done this? Why are you like this? Spouse Hondo. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. Can we... Divorce? Arjuna and Hondo divorce? Yes. Oh, now she's sad. <laughs> oh, no. All right, she is divorced. She still has her kid. I don't know what that kid will look like. There technically is a sim under Hondo, so whatever that sim looks like is what genetics will be mixed, not the mask. Now, I'm gonna delete him. And... We're gonna delete these guys, too, and hope for the best. I did save beforehand, so if something breaks immediately, we can revert the save, but... Obviously, we're gonna keep them. Don't mind their names, I don't know why they're like that. Well, alright, let's mark them not as played. It won't break, thank goodness. I cannot believe that. Why do you look like you're not pregnant? You didn't have babies, too, did you? Probably just the picture. Okay, well. That was taken care of. Got rid of him. 
just deleted Hondo and all of his friends. Uh, good. Oh, I should take my two hour break, huh? Let me make sure, they're probably not sleeping now, are they? Let me get them all back in bed. That face, the smolder. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, let's make sure this is off. Turn off, there you go. I have custom age span on. In the spreadsheet, that's why we keep track of all their birthdays and stuff. It has the, um, the lifespans on there next to the timeline. Oh goodness, you're all out of order. Like, to what I'm used to, and then you sleep over here. And this will drag down. He came, gave a baby, and went to space. If only her name was Mary, you know, that would have worked out better. He was never there. Your first death, who was it? How'd it happen? Oh no. <laughs> go to bed, go to bed, go to bed, all of you. So we're on Monday. Now, Monday, aside from the most likely baby birth, we do have to get the farm prepped for spring. So, keep that in mind. I'm assuming the snow is gonna melt on its own. I did mess with the weather when we were trying to make our fake winter since it was broken. But it's supposed to be sunny. I guess it's cold today. So whenever it's not cold, the snow will melt. But it should have been melted already. My weather's real screwed up. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to um, plant. Because the ground is frozen. Well, he doesn't have enough mental skill. But the oldest son, teen roll. You may save roll him. Oh, no. Wow. Sharing legacy and for the first time you have auto-aging on? Really? I would... When I used to just play to play, which was typically... I guess we only played 100 baby. That was all normal aging. Normal aging for normal gameplay is a decent amount of time. Long, in my opinion, is way too long unless you literally don't want people to die. And short is way too short. But normal just isn't right in the terms of how long they are that age. It's so weird. Like, toddlers are a toddler for five seconds in normal aging. Which some of you, I'm sure, love. <laughs> but I enjoy that stage. I love cottage living. Paranormal is cool, but it broke my game so bad, it sucked. We were gonna do the orphanage challenge. We did play it, but it was supposed to be a haunted one. But whenever we had that pack turned on, it, like, broke the save. It was so bad. It was sad. It might be fixed now, I don't know, but... <laughs> It just made my sims all lag out so bad when any paranormal things would happen. And then even when I would turn off the haunted trait lot or lot trait, it was still it screwed it all up. You don't want your sims to die. Yeah. And with normal auto-aging, once they hit elderhood, they don't all die at the same time. So they die on their own at a random time. It's normally around the same time, but they have like that amount of days that it can be different. So then it's more of a surprise. Which isn't a good surprise. But you know, it keeps things interesting in the game. I don't know, it was with mine. And it was a mix of our orphanage lot was huge. We had so many items on it. There was a ton of CC. There was definitely broken CC. There was a lot. So, yes, I'm using lots of mods. Xpace point CC. I'm going to take my two hour break. By that, I mean my break at two hours. We're a little past... And then we will continue. I'm pretty sure when we come back. I don't know if she's going to have her baby like this morning or if it's Monday night. But we should have a baby popping up soon. And then we'll work on planting our spring stuff and fixing the weather. And it'll be good. It was a lot. It was all kinds of things. The dust was bugging out my game. But that was right after the dust thing came out. And the paranormal pack was still pretty new. It was a lot. Streams normally go for about four hours. So we still have... A little under two hours. But I'm going to go take a break, use the bathroom, stretch my legs, and we will continue.
Good timing. I'm back. Hi, puppy puppy. Hi, sweet puppy. Okie dokie. Let's hit play. I'm so excited for the babies. Uh, we need babies. Hi, Dizzy. Hi, puppy. Oh, you want to cuddle? Forget babies. I got a baby right here. Thanks. Thanks, puppy. Oh, thank you. You wanted a snuggle? I won't pass that up. Oh. Hi. Chose to let him die, gave him a bunch of scars, and killed him by a vicious rabbit pretending it was a bear during a hunt. Can they die from rabbits? Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh. I give you all the snuggles. Yeah. Puppy. It's a new death. I didn't know they could die from a rabbit. That's terrifying. 
Oh no, we have rabbits all over the lot. Hi, puppy. Are you tired now? After all your chaos you brought all day? Aw. That's understandable, huh? <laughs> they kill you quick? Oh my goodness. Do they- do you have to be mean to them for them to kill you? They won't like just walk up and kill you, right? <laughs> Killer rabbits. Hi, baby. We're gonna have a baby born. Yeah. Thanks. How old is Minnie? She's ten. Big yawn. The rabbits only take a few negative interactions and you're dead. <laughs> okay, we won't be mean to the rabbits. No mean to the rabbits, Mini Muffin. There you go. Hi, puppy. That's terrifying. I didn't know that you could die from the rabbits. I know, like, the foxes and rabbits kill each other and stuff, but... Hi. Two or three and that's it? <laughs> so be nice to rabbits. Got it. Killer rabbit? She has a cataract in that eye. So essentially blind, but not like blind, blind. Like you could take the cataract off, you know. Huh. That's okay. Yeah. Hi, puppy. All right, I got hit play so we can get this baby born. Or maybe it will be multiples. <laughs> She's like, I'm so tired now, mom. <laughs> it's so tiring causing chaos. Hi, baby. Hi. You can stay here if you want, if you want to lay in my lap. Although it's getting pretty warm now. It's only 72 in here, but. You need some puppy cuddles? Here you go. Cuddle chat. Give him a hug. <laughs> she says, no tanks. I stay here. You gonna jump down? Okay. There you go. Are you looking for a treat now? Lately, her thing, when she comes down after asking to be picked up, and I put her down, she begs me for a treat right after. And now it's become a thing. <laughs> Here, can you sit? Speak. That was a quiet speak sit. High five. Fist bump. Yeah. Fist bump. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Just a little treat. Just a little one, because you asked for them so much. Okay, I'm excited for her October Bark Box because there will be a costume in it. Like, not in it, not from the box. It was an add-on, but I'm excited. She's like, treat time. Aw, this doggy wants some love. It's hard not seeing the dog's needs. I know, she just has a little, little tiny tail. Oh, she sat back down. A little nub of a tail. And... For those of you who are new, if you notice her uh, grooming job isn't the best. That's because I had to groom her this past time for the first time ever. But I left her tail all floofy. Where'd that dog just go? I've been bamboozled. So her tail looks super fluffy. This pup is dirty because it does this. And this is probably a pee puddle. I will have... Can he bathe puppies now that he's a kid? No, darn it. Why not? That's silly. Kids should be able to bathe puppies and dogs. Can you if you click on him? I thought they could. Let me click. Pet care? No. We could start lecturing him, but like they wouldn't have seen him doing that, so... He's getting away with it. Alright, let's fast forward through the night. Are we going to get a pop-up? I really don't know what time of day it's going to happen. And we... I honestly just hope the pop-ups work. I hope I set them up correctly this time around. They did in normal decades, but... Hopefully it works out. <laughs> kids should totally... Exactly! The kids look like they're about... Oh boy. This better not be our babies. Christy Hassan is a toddler. Okay, we're good. Um... Oh, what was I saying? Oh, the kids in Sims naturally look to be about, like, 10, give or take. And yet, they can't do most things like that. That a kid that age would totally be doing. 
They act like the kids are younger than they are, but they look way older. Um, I guess it's 5 a.m. We could get up. I was hoping we could sleep super long so that, you know, the baby would be here. That's fine. Now, is he Max Violin? He's not. We got a notification a while that said something about it. And I thought it was him. I was going to say, we have to see if he can learn his songs. Which, his songs, I don't think they can. If you license a song, do you get a copy of it? Because he wrote some custom songs and we wanted to be able to pass them on. I just don't know if it's going to be able to happen. You have not missed the baby. I took a break and then we just got back. Yeah, exactly. They look like they're 10. And if Sims wants them to be younger than that, then we should have, you know, another age in there. Maybe a few. That would be very nice. Because a 2-year-old to a 5-year-old to a 10-year-old to a 15-year-old all have very different capabilities. So it's hard when we just have a few. Like, ages. I think you do not get a copy. Huh. I wish there was a way. <gasps> it's happening! I wish there was a way we could do that. You could max skills, but that'd be cheating. That's no fun. Genevieve is in labor. I'm so excited. All right, so we are gonna go to her for this one. In the future, when we start having tons of babies, I'm gonna do the thing where we handle it through MC Command Center. But since this is our first one, we're gonna go. Should we bring mom? We could bring the mom to help. I might bring the mom. We've never done that before either. But since these are the first ones, they get a little more time to them and a little more story. In the future, when 10 babies are being born in a day, we'll, we'll have to do them quickly. I hope it's twins. The first grandchild. Let's, um... I want to bring mom there. Well, I need to be them. Um... Let me go... Be Genevieve, I'll summon mom there. And she can at least be standing around. And we'll see what happens. Yes. Wait, they're at the church still. Uh-oh. Please no babies at the church. <laughs> Why are you still at church? No, 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 no. How long do you have? Oh, goodness. Why are you at church? Go home, go home, go home. Go travel back home, please. <laughs> quick, quick. Everyone, not everyone can come. Their dog is sleeping. <laughs> He's already home. They were ready to pop that baby out and baptize it for real. Jeez. Uh. That was quick. Okay, we are at the house. Um, I don't believe there is a baby bed here. Um... Might have to delete the toddler bed for a bit. In the future, we really don't need the toddler beds because, like, we won't be here long enough for them to have to sleep. But we do have to have baby beds because babies are objects, clearly. So, let me grab... Invisible... What is it called? Is it called a bassinet? Bassinet? Rockabye bassinet. Isn't that... Newborn baby. That's what it is, right? Yeah. All right. This is our invisible crib. Sheet music in your inventory. Maybe if you don't mail the sheet music. So he writes it on sheet music until it's finished. And then when it's finished, the sheet music is gone. And it's like you'd think they would have made a way somehow that they could teach it to someone. Something. You know? We're going to have to have access to this bed. I might be able to fit a baby bed right here. Yeah, they should be able to if I put one right there. I want my mommy. I'm gonna summon her here. I've never done that in older decades. If we were at a different house, I didn't bring anyone. But this is a very special moment. I need the fake wooden beds. We can give them a little money here. Because obviously their money won't change. So... Isn't it called, like, peasant bed, maybe? Yeah, this one will do. We do have to have it out like this. Let me F5. Hopefully that doesn't catch on fire. 
Why do they look like power lines? Good question. Where did that bear go? Uh oh. Oh, here it is. I could put the baby on the bed too, technically, but we will need the bed for future woohoos in this family. Oh, what the heck? Why won't it sit correctly in the crib? Oh, this is weird. Is it because it's on a weird angle? Hold on. Once I get the baby in the bed, it would be easier to move. This doesn't seem right. Oh. Huh. Move objects should be on. And sorry, bot deletes links and it thought you typed the link, but you're good. Twins, triplets. Let me just put the invisible crib right there and she will stand there. And then once the baby's there, I can move it and slot it in correctly. I think it is the angle since this is technically all on an angle. Amy, you built a house on an angle. <laughs> bot deletes anything that it thinks is a link. And since I had a period, it thought it was a link, but you're fine. You're good. She refused to go to the hospital without me. I mean, I don't blame them. <laughs> that would be terrifying. Okay. I think that'll be fine. Because this will act as a crib. Let me summon the mom. Mailbox. Summon. List all sims. Give us the mama. We won't bring the sisters. We'll just keep it simple. Just bring mom. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, they have a cow already. Is she coming? Is she coming? I want to make things more difficult for you, clearly. Clearly! <laughs> uh, can I, like... Because I can only make her interact with a sim. I'm just gonna hope she comes in, even to meet the baby on her own. The mom, that is. Wait, if I put her in a group. I keep forgetting about the group function, but I've been trying to use it. Um, a lot with this decades because it's very helpful when I'm like, hey, I need you all to get in here, but I can't control you all. And then I can bring everyone inside here. So at least they're in the vicinity. Go here together. Fluffy. Go, go, oh, go, Fluffy. go. Let's do this. Then I can get a nice little screenshot. <laughs> Is she giving birth? <laughs> Oh lord, she giving birth! <laughs> She's not waiting. She's like, listen, I've been at labor long enough. Alright, before she gives birth, we're gonna bet if this baby's a boy or a girl. This will only count for the first baby, so if it is multiples, we're only betting on what the first one is. Since, you know, the way babies are born in this game. And I guess in real life, you know, only one comes out at a time. So, we're voting on the first baby, whether there's more, if it's a boy or a girl. I gotta set it up, though. Oh, this is exciting. Sims 3 cats and dogs are able to be controlled. I don't know. They did a lot of weird changes between the two. And that's one of them. Sometimes I like it because, like, it makes the pets more their own entity. Entity like Minnie in real life. I can't control her. But when, when you're controlling Sims, you think you could control the pets too? Anyways, we are going to bet. So I'm going to start it. And you'll have... I'll put it up to three minutes so we're not rushing as much. Three minutes would be 180. Done. Okay. It's open now. It'll pop up in chat in a second. You're going to type exclamation point bet space B or G if you think it's a boy or a girl. And then space the number of points. These are your Streamlabs points. You can do up to 10,000. And then hit enter. Bot will confirm it. Go ahead and bet. Play some music. You have two and a half minutes. If you want to check your seeds, it's exclamation point seeds. And make sure you type it just like everyone is so that bot confirms it. This is so exciting. I might be able to get her a little closer. I don't want her to like pop it out. Don't spoil it, Genevieve. I'm too scared, I don't want it to, it to pop up before I'm ready. Oh, that was scary. Lots of people betting boy. We'll 
we'll see. You have one minute and 50 seconds. I put I put it for three minutes so that everyone could get in since we haven't done this in a while. Whoop, sorry. <laughs> if I tab out, it should be fine. Okay, we're good. One minute, 20 seconds to bet if this baby's a boy or a girl. You should have bet more on the worst. This is so exciting. Oh, I just realized we're gonna have to roll for mom. This is not exciting anymore. <laughs> oh no. I don't wanna roll for Genevieve. The stakes are too high, stay awake. <laughs> for just a little longer. 50 seconds, 50 seconds. too long, but it's okay. I only roll for the moms, only because we do a one out of four roll when they turn into a toddler that would account for their chance of dying at birth, but also their chance of dying before they reach the age of one. So since we do such a big roll there, I don't roll for them when they're born. Because if we had done both, it just, I feel like would have been too much. But we do roll for mom. And then the one out of four roll is a scary one. Since, you know, that's 25%. Alright, it's done. Are we ready? Thank you for that follow. Welcome in. And Streamlabs is here too. Welcome back, Streamlabs. Okay. I'm gonna go into game. I feel like we need... I need to put more songs on my stream deck. Some cute music. Are we ready? No, Bassett, no! She's just in pain, labor pains. All right, let's see if this is a boy or a girl. Oop, I might want to hit play, huh? Oh, what's when? You got this, Genevieve. Giving birth in your mittens, woo! Boy or a girl, boy or a girl. Oh, scoop up. They're just chilling over here. All right, when I hit tab, it's gonna pop up. Gotta keep those fingies nice and toasty. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! A girl! Oh, we already know the name. Are you ready? <clears throat> Are you ready? Oh my goodness. And the people who bet girl are getting a nice prize pool here. So first of all, let me pick the winner here. The winner is girl. So pick a winner right now. I don't know exactly how much you all get, but the loyalty pot was 63,000. So that splits, I assume, between 15 people. I'm not really sure how that works, but there you go. Now, normally we bet on names. However, we had a special one for Genevieve's first kid that I said when Isabel died. Isabel, if you don't know, if you're new, if you hadn't watched before, is Genevieve's littlest sister, or was. She died on her roll to childhood. So she died technically when she was four turning five. And we said that she died of a fever because there was an illness in the house. So, in honor of Isabel, we're going to name this baby Belle. Glad you didn't bet more now. Hey, it worked out, right? So, this will be Belle Russo. I don't want to do Bella or anything because the uhs at the end of names, like Isabella, weren't French. So, we're going to keep it to Belle. Now, let's hope it's twins. Belle Russo. Now she won't be blonde, but she could be, she could have red hair or brown hair like her mom. Unless the game glitches and makes her blonde, which would be hysterical. But that's in honor of her baby sister. Is it twins? Oh, Gosh darn it, Genevieve. We just have no twin genes. <laughs> it's only one baby. But that makes it easy for the spreadsheet, right? Can I make you not in this outfit? I probably should have changed it before. Can you go in this one, maybe? Well, that's a lot cuter. Just for the sake of you just had a baby. 
That was a big baby. That was a very large baby. <laughs> the ceiling mod is in the CC dock. It's a really good one. You can pick any flooring in the game to make as a ceiling. But only one at a time, so it will override your entire game. It's very nice. Hi, baby! Baby Bell. Aw, oh, heck. Alright, now I can get you an actual bed. Why did the one just go invisible? It's concerning. Which one are you in? Oh, no. Apparently there were two beds there. Oh, it moved. It moved. Never mind. There we go. It's the angle, man. Amy, why'd you do this? How do you see the ceiling? If you're in tab mode, you can see it. What if we put the baby here? Whoa. I have F5 on. This is... Why'd you build like this? <laughs> well, because they're still on angle. So the baby bed needs to be on an angle. What have you done to me? Like this? There we go. I just wanted to snap. There. Uh, since the whole house is on an angle, so is the baby. <laughs> now I'm gonna leave the bear there since we won't be here very much anyways. Um, that way we know where the crib is. Otherwise we lose the crib. Hi! Welcome to the family! You were born on Monday. We have to write you in the spreadsheet. Oh, it's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna have your mama take care of you real quick. We're gonna enjoy this moment. This is our first grandkid. I say our, cause this was a group effort. All chat. Aww. Baby's first feed. Where's the mom at? Did she leave? Where'd the dad go? Are you guys just chatting outside? Oh, yo, yo. Oh, Hello, welcome. Jessene and pronouns, she, her. Alright, come on in here so you can meet the baby. Stop talking outside alone. She just gave birth. Oh, she's gonna go too. Oh no, the house. <laughs> they all walk in a circle. Uh, Sims are, are oh, one of a kind, you know? Oh my Aww. goodness. See, it sucks because it's like, I wish we could have Genevieve come over with her baby, right? But no, we have to go to them because babies are an object. But we'll probably, we'll see her kid more when it's a toddler for sure. But mom is here. Um, Can I switch to control to you from here? Is there an actual button to do that? Or do I just go into cast and come out? I've always just gone into Cass, but I feel like there's got to be a button, right? Mark for death, no. MC cheats, let's see. Play this household? Alright, I'm gonna swap. Switch from Russo to Baudelaire. Yes. Where's Minnie? She's right on the edge. She's sleeping on that blanket. I tried to move that blanket and she stole it from me, so it's her. Like I tried to make it, you know, look all nice and fold it up. Is she gonna be back at home or will she be right there? Oh, she it takes us to her lot, but then we can switch control to her. I oh yeah, I gotta roll for her, you're right. I don't wanna roll for her. <laughs> Let's have a nice moment first, just in case. I want the mom to come meet the baby. Come here. Coo at that baby and cuddle the baby. Gotta at least have a picture of mom meeting the baby. Can we put you not in your winter clothes? There we go. Aww. Your first niece! You love her? Oh, she loves her. Uh, we will roll for her. I'm having a moment first, just in case. Oh, this 
Don't kiss oh, babies yeah, unless but... they're sim babies. Yeah, just vote B, uh... All oh. right, let's roll for Genevieve. I always have the power to overroll, but that mm, let's just hope it's a good roll, all right? Let me go read what it is because it's a weird roll. So we need to roll for go into CC doc. Thank you. And search ceiling. And it'll pop up in there somewhere. Uh, let's see. Death roll. When a baby is born, roll 2d6 at the same time. If they both land on the same number, the mother dies from childbirth complications. And that's about a 2.5% chance. Her grandchild. Oh, you're right. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> that's like earlier I called the one person their uncle when it was their brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. My brain's not all with it today. Okay. I need the dice roller. So what we're going to do is throw out two D6s, right? Yeah. And if it roll, if they land on the same number, any number but the same number, then she would die. Please don't die. Ready? Two sixes. Oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> I nearly lost it for a second when I saw the top of the two. She's fine. She's all right. No dying. <laughs> that was scary. She's just fine. Holy crap. Oh, they're not best friends anymore. That keeps falling off. Can you go give her a hug? It's hugging time. Did we do a hype train? They can happen every hour. I'm not sure what the timer's at. <laughs> Come give her a hug. Is he in the way? Hey, stop doing push-ups. I can't make him move. Come here. Yeah, because he's in the way. We're trying to have a hug moment, and then I'll send you back home. Deep personal conversation. Hip bump. Give family advice. Oh, good. Hug lovingly. There we go. You always get here for death rolls. I mean, at least you don't miss those, then. Let's get a hug, and then you can head home. <laughs> there you go. I try and start with three interactions. I don't know when our last one was. Uh, it's been an hour. It's three different interactions. Subs, gift subs, bits, all that. Let me bring bot KC back. Alerts, properties, refresh. Bot KC, you back. Oh no, did I break it? Oh, there's the bot. Alright, I'm gonna send the mom home, but we do need to put the new baby in the spreadsheet, so let's do that first. So... This is where the spreadsheet will start getting more crazy. She's gonna be a Russo. So let me grab this one. She is the first... third gen. Then. Oh my goodness. Because I always call the parents first gen and then the first kid second and then so on. So, Belle Russo, daughter of uh, Gabriel and Genevieve. Third gen, technically, right? Like, that sounds wrong, but that's right. Female, born 1721. Wow. Cool. Um, that's all fine. Timeline. So we're on Monday. You hear Bell Russo? It sounded like it could be her last name. Bella Russo. It does. 1721. Oh, now we gotta work on all our planting. Did Jen have her baby? She just had it. Baby Bell. So Bell will go here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. We will age Bell up right there. And then we'll put her here. Bell. She will get a different color, yeah. Bell Russo. And then. Oh, will she? Yeah. Yeah. Because the family colors go with the parents. 
but the kids will get their own. So she'll be orange. Ooh, pretty. But then this is fine. And then all the rest is fine. There you go. So we'll see her again. Unless we go over and visit her. But the house is so cramped. I just kind of want to wait till she's a toddler. We hope she lives to toddler. And then she could come over. Maybe if she rolled to not live to toddler. We would all go see her. But we're going to assume she lives to toddler. And then she can come over. Now I don't want Genevieve to get pregnant right now. Because she literally gave birth today. So we'll wait. At least a day, because that'd be three months. Maybe two days. Um, and then we'll have them have another baby. Or try to. So that we can keep those going. Now, I also need to get Eloise and her husband going, but... We have things to do, so we'll just do our best. Can you go home now? Actually, let me switch to somebody else. Honestly, if you want to stay over there a while... I don't care, but I need to go take care of them. Ten garden. Yeah, I did the original decades challenge. Like the 1890 onward one. And then this one I wrote myself and started in 1700. Because only having a few decades in those earlier years. Like once you hit 1900s, things change so fast. So I went way farther back. OG start. August 16th to April. That's so weird. We're both the 16th. Huh. I'll leave mom there for a bit, like I said. Now, it is Monday. We need to go into town. We can't go until 9 a.m. We should probably get the boys hunting. Make sure our animals are cared for. We'll care for the animals before we go into town. I'm going to send these two hunting. Charlie and Arthur, they're gonna go hunting. Um, Juliet, honestly, just to have less people to deal with, go foraging. And then Eloise, you can stay here and help me. Is that written wrong? No, it was August, remember? The actual start date was because I came back from vacation and then we prepped. And then, yeah, so that's when it started. August, September. I guess it's October now. That is weird, though. How do you get smoke coming from the chimney? As long as you have a chimney place and a fireplace is on, um, it makes smoke come out. It seems so weird. Yeah, because we did orphanage before it, which was all a blur. And then random games and stuff, and then decades before that. But I, also, I don't understand how it's October of 2021 either, so <laughs> nothing seems real. All right, Charlie's going to take care of animals. These three are going out. Eloise, why don't you go with your sister, buddy system? You can go forage as well. Just so I have less people to deal with for a little bit. Sebastian, you could come fill the bowls. You're going to look to see if you've been playing this for like six months. <laughs> yeah, it's not been very long at all. Which is crazy. I need you to come and clean the shed. And call over Nutmeg. Clean the shed, call over Mildred. Maybe just clean the sheds first. And refill the feed. And then we'll do the animals. Do we ever trade chickens? We have not yet. It's been crazy in here. And then you... Yeah, I guess you could do all those chores. Clean up all the plates. Let's move the Bible. I still have to give Charlie a gift, too. He can have the gift of... Uh, our presents. Clean this up. And dispose of these. Dispose of these. Clean this up. Because he already has a violin and everything. Hmm. <laughs> what else does he do? We will give him a chicken! I kid. Clean this up. Is the Decades Challenge all you play in? Kind of in the past couple years. But we did play Orphanage Challenge and stuff. It just doesn't hit the same. Anything else ever since I played Decades doesn't hit right. 
Because before the other decades challenge, I did baby, 100 baby challenge twice. And it was fun, but it's not the most enticing gameplay. <laughs> Once you play decades, you just can't go back because you're like, well, how old is my sim? What year is it? What are they supposed to wear? <laughs> it's so weird to play like normally. He's cleaning, he's cleaning. Ah, uh, nice and simple here on the lot. Oops. I need you to dispose of this one as well. That one's still okay. Um, anything else? Because even if I didn't play full on decades, did he- wait, what? No, you can't be single and loving it. I'll get rid of that later. Even if you didn't play decades, decades, like, I would still do some historical play through at this point. I don't think I could go back. Even the orphanage challenge we set in a time frame, but the year never changed and it bothered me. But if you have the year change, you have to put a lot of, you know, yeah. research and change into it as you play it versus saying, oh, it's the year 1900 for 100 years. Thanks, Tazzy. Thanks, Village. But I love it. I'd like to do medieval someday. But I don't plan to anytime soon because I'm playing this one. And it would be too much to play too. <laughs> I can't put that much effort into it. I already put all my extra hours into this off stream. I can't play another one. Started reading Outlander again? Oh, do I do speed builds? I don't. The only stuff I really build is when it's for the save like this. Although the orphanage was pretty cool. I did build that. But my builds are far from speedy. <laughs> They're slow builds. Slow, highly accurate, indecisive builds. Medieval would be so cool. Yeah, maybe in a few years when we finish this one. <laughs> but, uh, that would take a lot of research. The Christmas tree farm was cool, too. That was, like, my first big build on stream, not including the Decades House expanding, you know? That one was pretty neat. I was proud of that. And that was my first real use of, like, debug and stuff. We used it a little bit in the Decades House, but not a ton. So I used a lot of it then. And then Orphanage is when I really upped my game. And that's when I started using so much CC. And then this one is basically all CC. It's just super simple. Because it's supposed to, you know, represent the times. But I love it. Uh, I think I've learned more history on my own here than in school. Like, more history that actually sticks with me. Oh god, people are home. Okay, dad didn't take care of the animals, but... He's done. Let's see what they brought back. Are you coming back soon? Okay, so she went foraging. She got us three potatoes, three apples, three eggs. I'll take it. Arthur, oh no. The trees have eyes. Not this one again. Creak, what was that? Crunch, eat, growl, Arthur isn't alone. What'd you get though? He got us a chicken, a squirrel, he got venison. This is only our second deer. Our second deer. I'll just plop that on the table. There we go. Good job, buddy. Put this milk away. Any of these eggs good? Perfect. Nice job. What other games do I play? On stream lately, we only played this, but like off stream. Honestly, lately, I just play more Sims for this. But um, Minecraft, we were playing WoW, like World of Warcraft. I've played all sorts of games on my own and on stream. Just currently, all my focus goes to this. <laughs> our orphanage challenge was 100 baby. But we were in an orphanage, and we adopted kids through the phone as babies and raised them. We didn't get very far because then we started doing this. But it was cool. My game was just so laggy through it. It was so bad. I've never heard of it. I love Minecraft as well. It's definitely... I, well, I might put Minecraft at my top second favorite game because Sims is first. I have more hours in Minecraft than Sims. Put it that way. I really like World of Warcraft. I really like old school RuneScape. Borderlands and stuff like that. I'm trying to think of all the other games. Oh, Smite. Oh, I miss Smite. What'd you come back with? Strawberries and carrots? And you got sprayed by a skunk. Oh, good. And then we're still waiting on Charlie. 
Please don't get mauled by a bear. Please don't get mauled by a bear. <laughs> oh no. And it's cool. That's funny. It's ironic. Put these here. I have Planet Zoo. I've never played Planet Coaster. Planet Zoo, I played for like five seconds and it was just so much and I never went back to it. It's a lot. It is so cool though. It looks amazing. But it's very, the learning curve on that is steep. <laughs> oh, something I used to, what is this? We've never got a wild boar before. These boys are coming in with big stuff. Have we got one of those? Maybe once, but I don't think so. Two ducks? Oh my gosh. Look at them. That's crazy. If we did, it was at the very beginning. But otherwise, we don't really get these. Hello. S. Oh my gosh, that's a long time. Thank you for extending your sub through January. <laughs> I appreciate that. You get to make a theme park with roller coasters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it is. I just, I don't have it. Minecraft is so different now. It's crazy. All the stuff that's been added. All those years of hunting and trapping finally paid off. They're getting good. That's amazing. I gotta figure out what we even need to cut. Whew. Okay. Well, no one got mauled by a bear. We just, he's scared to death and she got uh, sprayed by a skunk. It's fine. Oh, mom's back home too. So before we lose too much daylight, we need to go into town. Uh, all of these should not be grown. I'm gonna have to delete them. And I don't think I'm gonna make them uproot them all because it takes too much time. So we will delete them. So we have room for our new crops. But for our new crops, I gotta figure out what we're doing. So I'm gonna have to use my brain for a second. Can I just like put the carrots in here? Open. We will just put them in here. Is 1.7 what's out now or what's coming out for Minecraft? There we go. Okay. So, we're in spring. Let me switch my spreadsheet over to spring. And... You picked pears. That's right. Give these to dad. It's the newest update? Then I think so. I haven't played like a flat out vanilla save in a few updates now. Which those are the best ways to experience all the new stuff because we play a lot of modded if we are playing. But we do have a Minecraft server. Thomas hasn't worked on it for like a week or so because he's been working on his car. But that should be up. And that is, well I don't even know what to call it. It's not Skyblock, it's where you start like a um, farm and as you do achievements the border expands for you. So that's a thing. I put a squirrel in there? Ew. <laughs> oh no. Uh, you stay out here. Yuck. Alright, let me use my brain. Like I said, this takes a lot. These are all spoiled. No. <sighs> I'll take care of those later. We'll do inventory management in a bit. We need spring, but I never got these sorted out. So let's put stuff away. Put stuff in here first. These are seeds, so these are what we'll use to plant later. Potato- or yeah, potatoes are a hot commodity for us, so... And we have four by fives. Let's put 20. Actually, yeah, let's put 20 for next season. You play Minecraft on console instead of PC? Hack! Yeah, then that server won't work for you, unfortunately. Alright, and then spinach. Do we have any spinach in here? No, so let's save like eight. That'd be two plots of spinach. That's nine. Oh boy. And then pears, we have a tree that's always planted, so we don't need to save those. Same with lemons. Onions, we have 12 saved right now. We'll have it so there's 16. Okay, and then potatoes we have saved. So, wait, sage we have planted year round. Now we need to open the fridge. See what we're going to keep to eat. How much are lemons worth? How much? That bi this is only 105. How much are these? We're going to go broke. We should maybe sell our pears. 
Hmm. We have 16. So the pears are used for a couple meals and desserts. So let's sell the pears. We're going to keep the lemons. We're going to keep the onions. I kind of want to keep the potatoes. We should just sell off the sage. Because we have so many herbs. So sell that. We're going to sell these two. And probably some of their fertilizer. Because I want them to have food. We do have canned things on the walls. We could just sell all the canned stuff and have her make new. I have like berries that we need to use. Oops. Let's just sell the canned stuff this time around. The honey, that's just there for display. Um, we'll sell this because some of these are like, you know, 10 years old. They're fine aged canned jams. I don't know how long those last canned, but in Sims, it's eternity. Let's see what else is in here. So, we have potatoes, pears, watermelon. We'll sell that. We have some meats. Blackberries, milk, blueberries, a little bit of flour, a ton of poultry. We should try to make stuff with that. Otherwise, we could always sell some. We have tomatoes, egg corns. Let's get rid of the strawberry jam, pumpkin jam. Pumpkin jam. Hmm. Basil, lemons, mushrooms. We have a loaf of bread. <laughs> Let's get rid of these. These. I know these kind of get hidden behind the goals, but... Those are all fruits, veggies, meats. I think this is old fish. Yeah, let's get that out of there. Veggies. We have five pigeons just chilling in the fridge. <laughs> love playing survival on Minecraft and try to build a house and stay alive. I love survival too. We have a bunch of sugar, so let's not buy sugar when we're there this time. We have eggs. Pheasants, hares, venison meat, honey, a bunch of bad fish, hares, salt. Okay. Minnie's right there on the edge. <laughs> She's like half off camera. Uh, yes, there's pumpkins up front, right? Let's just sell those because they probably go bad in a day. So we probably won't can those. Okay. Hardcore is so fun. I love all kinds of Minecraft. Mini games, creative, survival, hardcore, modded servers. Like, it's just all so good. I played a lot of Minecraft, like I said. <laughs> I wish it tracked all your hours, because I would love to show mine. Like, on any server ever. The M Disney Minecraft is amazing. Do I accept Twitch friend requests? Not typically, since there's really no need for them. But uh, you can join our Discord, and then you can talk to us there, including me. Hi, Ven. Welcome. Okay, this is all set. Uh, this has so much scrap metal. Some of this stuff we're just gonna have to start selling and getting rid of. Let me put the dead fish in there. Maybe we'll fertilize, maybe we won't. We have all these seeds. I will bring some metal in case we need it, but I think with all these jams, we're gonna have a lot of money. And I'll let them have a little extra money this time, just because now we're feeding the dog and everything, and that all takes in-game money. And I just take each hundred dollars as a dollar, so it makes a little more sense. Alright, I think we're good to go to town. Let me check their inventories, though. Just to make sure no one has something I need to sell. Oh yeah, she has all of these. Well, apples we can keep in the fridge. Potatoes, put in the fridge. Eggs, put in the fridge. Okay. Cool. The foraging mod on my list. That is from Ye Old Cookbook. The hunting, the foraging. You can go to the doctors through this sign. At different times in the day, different shops are open. And it, they're all rabbit holes. So they'll go. And if it's a shop, it'll pop up on your screen and you can buy stuff. They can even go watch things, go to theaters, they can go to church, but, uh, rabbit hole. Play Skittles, which, I keep thinking Skittles is bowling, right? What is Skittles game? Let's just be sure. That's not bowling. Well, kind of is. Image. It's like miniature bowling, but there's also big versions? Nine pin Skittles. It looks like it can be big or little. It reminds me of bowling, though. But, um, yeah, so they can go play. I assume that probably gets their fun up. Maybe they're social. 
Now this, what we're about to do is go to the real town and sell these off. This is part of our immersion. Let's travel from here. Take the whole fam. We'll even bring the dog. Yeah, it's like... I don't even know what fussball is, but it looks like bowling. But it looks like there's miniature and big versions when I googled it quickly. And some of the miniature versions have like walls. Ooh, I just shook everything. Okay, we're gonna send them here. And then hopefully the NPC who runs the shop is still there. Oh, foosball. Yes, it does look like both of those. <laughs> I'm like, what's fussball? Is that new too? <laughs> okay, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. <sighs> the NPC who runs this must not be running it anymore. I need an NPC and then we're gonna have to leave and come back. Can we make her run it? Ooh, my voice, sorry. That made my own ears ring. Can we make this one? How many bedrooms are in the house you're using? We have the whole upstairs is one floor and that's majority of the beds and then the parents sleep under the loft. Well, it was a loft. They sleep downstairs. So technically I guess two, but they're not, you know, closed off rooms. Can I use NPC to make her run that job? I'm gonna try. They're so broken anyways, both of them. That's the garden shop, right? Or is it grocery? I always get this one wrong. You join Discord? Good. We have lots of fun there. I love Discord. If I'm not streaming, I've got Discord up. Well, I mean, I always have Discord up, but like, that's where I am. Grocery. Thank you. Now, we're going to have to leave and come back, typically. So, let's go somewhere else. Uh-oh, I don't think we brought the dog. Just leave the puppy here. We gotta fix this. It's a little glitchy sometimes. Uh, we could go say hi to Genevieve real quick. And come back. Hello, Genevieve? How's the baby? Knock, knock, knock. Hello? Can we see your baby? We can have dad go meet the baby. Technically grandpa to the baby. That's so weird. How did you all get so big? Oh, you have to knock. While we're here, we're taking a little detour. It's only noon. Go meet the baby. Do you want to meet the baby? Does he like fitness, Gabriel? Yeah, he does. Go cuddle the baby. And then it will pop up here, right? That you've met her? Come here, come here, come here. Oh, Taking a detour. Ah, what is that noise? Oh my gosh! They're screaming! That scared me so bad! <laughs> oh no! I thought someone was like dying! You alright? <laughs> I'm gonna miss the moment! Oh. There we go. That was scary. They're screaming incoherently and it was so loud. It sucks, Dizzy, but it's because there's some evil people out there who have done some terrible things to Discord. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. Can you upload Nimki's family sometime with your hashtag so you can give her an elf makeover? Yeah! Yeah, because I always just save those to myself. Um, here. Can I upload her from here? Uh, let me give you this one with the puppies. Yeah, I can upload from here. What's your hashtag? <laughs> Sister's laughing at him. What do you mean bots and stuff would join discords and spam terrible messages? And if there's no like timer for them to be able to get in, um, they can just immediately join and do it. Hashtag Bertha GH. Just so I don't forget, I'll just do it right now. Yeah, that worked. There you go. Have fun. 
Alright, Dad, are you done holding the baby? So, have you met her then? Oh, wrong sim. Yes, so now they've met Belle. Hmm. Should we have everyone try to meet her real quick? I mean, we're here. We might as well. We don't normally do this stuff, so it's kind of exciting. Alright, you get out of here. This house is cramped. Oh, hey! Eloise, you can come change the baby's diaper. <laughs> Congrats. You win. There you go. Naughty bot. Oh, no. Everyone's meeting the baby. Smooch. Stop smooching baby sims. You know what diseases will carry. Especially in this. This time. Alright, you have met the baby? Um, if you guys are quick, you can come meet her, but it's already 1 p.m. and that shop closes at 5, so why don't you just come. Rock her. Quick, quick, quick. It's all for the screenshots, it's all for the immersion. Aww. Now this would be his niece. There we go. You can try to start one, Dizzy. You have to give a hundred bits, a gift sub, or sub. And then Arthur. Can you come see the baby real quick? We gotta hurry up so we can get to town. No lollygagging. Mom, thank you for the bits. Arthur? Well, that's how hype trains are started, Dizzy. Come on over. There we go. Ooch. Greyhound, thank you for the bits. Now, put that baby down. They're all sitting and talking and laughing. Texted someone, but they didn't text back. Wait for them to respond because you're talking about letters, so it's take a long time. Go meet the baby. It's 2 p.m. We gotta hurry up. Oh, she loves her. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's exhausted. She's like, thank goodness you're here. I need a break. Whoa, Charlie has the good manners trait. How? Charlie, good manners. Look at them all sitting here. Ah, oh, Sims. I think that follow will come in. They're being so cute. This was totally worth the trip. I love them. Oh, you look a little grumpy and sad. <laughs> Yikes. All right, one last person to meet this baby. Uh, go sit over there. And it's you, which he's gonna get a little stretchy here. I don't, he can't hold the baby, but he can come coo at the baby. Well, I guess if he bottle fed the baby, he'd pick it up, but it would get real interesting. Come coo at the baby. You can't. Why not? You normally can. I'm gonna teleport him here. He might be stuck. Where are you? Oh, he's sitting. Can you knock it up? Oh, oh. Did you see that? Who's gonna be the one to start the hype train? Who knows? You have less than three minutes to start one. One more interaction. Come talk to the baby. Why can't you? That's weird. Oh, you can bounce the baby though. Oh gosh, she's gonna get stretchy. Will it be cute enough for a picture? I'll take it. Ignore his giant buff arm. All right, let's go back to town. Everyone met that baby. Every single person in this family. <laughs> S, thank you for the bits. We are now in a hype train. Oh, stretchy puppy just, oh. If we finish this hype train, we'll do a sticker giveaway and garden. It shall be you. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have them all travel back to town and that lady, Crumple Bottom, should be working there. Keyword should. And hopefully she is because we have like two hours till those shops close, I think, if I read them right. I don't actually remember. That is Take a grand the rest baby. Of my bits, Thanks, D. Anna. And thank you for the follow. S, thank you for the bits. 
Okay, we are back. Shop is open. Perfect. Here we go. Let's go haggle her. <laughs> it's Battle of the Crumple Bottoms. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. Think about follow welcome in. Let us haggle you. Did she say yes? Heck yeah. Let's see what we're going to sell. We don't want too much money, but we'll take enough. You know? Especially because these jams are going to be worth... Oops, we want to keep the seeds. They're going to be worth a pretty penny. Eggs are rotten. I'm not going to sell those. Oh, the mushrooms are worth so much. Sheesh. I mean, at this point, we could keep our crops, sell the jams, and then eat the crops. If we make enough from um, all the jams, that would be fine. Because I don't think we need to sell the crops. We might as well keep them. We really might as well keep them. I am going to sell the pumpkin. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're going to keep them. $9. We just have been stocking up. $12. Don't worry, I'll spend some of it. Thanks, Dizzy. The seeds we're keeping. Um, we don't really need to sell anything else. That's the most money we've ever achieved. To be fair, those jams have been going on for quite a few years. So they've saved up. They're only now selling them because they know they have food, right? <laughs> Two minutes, 15 seconds on the hype train. 57%. All right, go ahead and sell those. So now we have a million dollars. Now, you know what I didn't look at? I forgot. And we can't go back and come back. It'll be too late. I didn't look at what seeds they already have for spring. I'm pretty sure we have everything to plant. Let me go take a peek. Spring is carrots, mushrooms, lemons, parsley, and sage. I'm pretty sure we have all of those at home. Like, enough seeds. So we just need to buy, like... Not very much. Some flour. Some wool. Cool. Alright. Start here. Let's see. Don't need any of those. I really don't think we need any of these. We have a bunch of sugar, but we could take flour... We have, like, no flour now. Maybe two. We have two flour. Since we have the money, we might as well stock up on some flour. We never get to stock up on flour. How do you get bits? You pay for them with real life money. And then the bits you give me pay me. And then same thing with subs. You pay for real life money. And then that pays me as well. Um, I might just stock up to use some of this money. And then we have them. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Mom, thank you for the bits. 45 seconds on the hype train, level 1, 76%. Um, we already have sugar at home. We could buy some bread and put it in something. I don't know if this bread works in our meals. We will try it, otherwise they can just eat it, I think. Alright, that brings us down to about $10. Can you go over here? And go see what she has. She normally has the wool. Quelza. 10 seconds nearly 76 percent all right let's see what you've got mom thank you for the bits we were so close wow well, we didn't make it to pass level one thank you for the hype train thank you mom and thank you huh welcome in won't let you send messages in discord did you react to the rules by hitting the sunflower button? Okay, we already have all of these because we didn't plant them last season. Do we have pumpkins though? I need to check that. They only have two carrots. And I think we have carrots and all that at home. I think we're fine on those to plant. We're becoming more self-sufficient. Now I will take the green wool. And while we're here, we'll grab some extra wool. I want to get them down to about 800. That'd be about 800. Yeah, so like eight bucks that they're through. bringing home. And then their bills are almost three bucks. So that'll be fine. 
The gen live. Yes, thankfully. Did we hit follow goal? We did. Let me complete that. Let me give out 1,000 points for follow goal. There we go. You have nuggies. Ah. Still won't let you send messages? Let me go see if you have the right rank. You should be able to send messages now. It says you're a pumpkin seed. You can't send messages in that channel. You gotta go to a different channel. Make sure you're in like general chat or something. Any of those information channels you can't send messages in. I hear a Thomas. Hello? Are you gonna go greet him, puppy? I hear him. Which one? You found it. There you go. Yeah, you can't type in the information channels. Nobody can. Those are to look at with your eyes. <laughs> Did our dog poop there? Where is our dog? Oh, him so dirty. Hi, buddy. We'll go home and give you a bath. We won't stay in town too long. Eloise needs to meet her boy, too. Is he in town, perhaps? Uh, we could always invite him over while they're planting. Where is he, Lawrence? He could come help plant. We will bring him home. Like, we'll invite him over. But I want to try to get their crops in today. Now, their crops are going to break, like, five million times, most likely. Hi, cutie. Because of the current glitch, which is going to suck because we leave the lot now more than we ever used to. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I'll at least make sure our family inventory is cleared. So if the crops go in there, we know they're there. And if we have to click and drag them all out, so be it. How'd you get the dog? We got him from the Native American family. They had a bunch of puppies and we went over and picked one out. And then we had Genevieve get one too. Do I do giveaways? I do. When we finish hype trains or meet all the goals, we do sticker giveaways. When we have special like events, I give away packs and merch and all kinds of stuff. Um, all right, go home. You left your computer on. Welcome back. Cute little puppy. So what's gonna happen next now that we have a baby? Let me go see the timeline. You can come look with me. Oops. I guess our next thing we have to really prep for is Eloise's wedding as soon as possible. And then Charlie's. And Charlie needs to see his love a little more. It's just so hard. We're doing so much. But I'll do my best. Because we're on Monday. So I'll probably have Jen try for a baby either literally the day after or give them a little gap and do Wednesday. That'd be six months later. That sounds a little nicer, but we'll see. So I guess our focus here is Eloise these next couple days. Eloise and Charlie. Yikes. Genevieve had a baby girl named Belle in honor of Isabel. Oh. Is the snow melting right now? We can't plant until it does. So I guess let me prep the garden. So like I said, these are sp supposed to be dead from last season. We just left them all the time. Like that whole time. I'm not going to make them uproot all these. It literally takes so long. Ooh, we're getting money? I don't want money. Hold on, let me write down their money. Okay. I'm going to do it myself. The sage is year-round, so I'm going to keep that. But the rest we will delete. Baby girl bam. <sighs> I love it. It's just too much, especially with everything we're doing. For them to uproot takes so long. They do one plant at a time. Like, come on, wouldn't you pull your wheelbarrow around and put all the scraps in there, pick them all up, and then throw them out? <laughs> Don't mind. Oops. These? And then, I don't think we're going to be able to plant unless the snow hurries up and melts. So, uh, oops. We can at least lay out the crops, though. This is the farming simulator part of the game, and it's very important. It 
Am I deleting individual carrots? I am. Whoa. They're exploding. Boom. Bam. Bang. Boom. <laughs> They're gone. All right. There we go. They tilled their garden all day. All the Sims time you miss because Sims take so long to do things. That's what they were doing. Listen, Ben, you haven't been here, but we have so much we do. <laughs> I don't have time to make them do that. Okay, what we will do is uh, make sure all this goes away. And the bread, oh, this spoils, doesn't it? Now, does this bread count as this bread? Maybe they'll just eat it. We should probably get the deer off the table. <laughs> Can you, uh, we need to cut the deer and cut the boar, right? There, or no, is the boar, hold on. I will forever forget these, but someday I'll remember. Isn't the boar its own thing or no? We never really get boars. Work and moving, you know life. And your two children, like, there's a lot going on, I understand. I'm just saying, you don't understand how much we've been doing. Is there like a boar pie? We must just cut up the boar then. Unless it's in a soup? I think we just cut up the boar. This is supposed to be a deer. So like venison. It's just really small. But big compared to everything else. And then this is a boar. Right? Yeah, it's a wild boar. So I think we just cut that one up. Unless I'm missing something, but I'm gonna cut it up. The ducks are poultry. And this is a chicken. This we keep whole. This is a squirrel that we cut to. Alright, chop all those. Wow, like magic! <laughs> we got six poultry. Two boar meat. Oh, finally, six fat. I wonder if that mostly came from the boar or something. We've been trying to get fat. <laughs> that <laughs> came out wrong. <laughs> fat in the game, like, <laughs> for the candles. <laughs> Low quality red meat and venison meat. So we can make actual venison meals now. I think that means we can make this one. Venison steak. We can finally make our first party meal of venison steak. <laughs> it just, just it didn't come out right. <laughs> oh, good, good. You know, to make candles. Oh, the flour we can put in here. These are spoiled. I have to take care of those later. And then these will be planted. I figured I needed pumpkins. That's fine. I feel like pumpkins are more a summer fall thing anyways. Pears we decided to keep. This we decided to keep. So, what we need now is our spring veggies. Which should be mushrooms. Um... Fall and winter, summer, carrots. Summer and fall, summer and fall, summer and spring. That's parsley. We could do that. Strawberries are spring. Tomatoes are summer. Green peas are spring. Raspberries are fall. All right, so that's what we'll be planting. The robo vacuums are really cool. And for the longest time, I didn't know they were in the game. And when I found out, it was just mind blowing. <laughs> Cause I'm like, where did those come from? What? The huh? I have not drank enough water today. My mouth is very dry. So I'm going to prep all these. Again, they can't plant them yet. I think it's too frozen. But the snow is melting, so we should be able to shortly. How's your day and what's stream about? Day's pretty good. Uh, this is the Extreme Decades Challenge in Sims. And we just basically play through time. And right now we're in the 1700s. I guess we can plant the rest of the carrots. Green peas we'll put here. Well, no, I want them to all be next to each other. Strawberries. We have such a weird amount of some of these. It's ruining my vibe here. Maybe someone can just keep this strawberry. Green peas. And we have mushrooms. And this is parsley. Okay. Then that's an extra strawberry. I'm just going to put that one in the fridge, I guess. 
They can eat that one. Well, I think they can only can with it. And then we have three spots. I'm going to plant all three of these just so that we can get them out of our inventory and get them down. This we can put away. And then this is our sage. So we'll have a couple plots not planted this spring, but that's fine. They're doing pretty good. Now, can you plant these yet or is it still frozen? We can plant. So the game, I guess because the game's technically not frozen, it's melting away. It'll let us plant. So it's 4 p.m. for them. If we have them all help, I bet they can get that planted. But they are pretty hungry. So what if... Can we like call to meal here? How many bread pieces is here? <laughs> Eight. What if you all have a nice little bread snack and then you can go out there? We're gonna have to do one at a time. That's always so annoying. Go grab servings and try not to cancel yourselves out. Grab a serving. Grab a serving. He's so scared still. Whatever he saw in the woods really spooked him. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here we go. Did I do garden roll? No. Hold on. La la la. Come with me and roll a d6. Three. Um. Let's see. Unfertile soil. Oh, good. <laughs> there we go. Actually, didn't we have unfertile on for winter? Let me double check. It might be on. It is poor soil. All right, so we got that twice in a row then, technically. Although in winter we don't water anything because it's just frozen over, but. There we go, thank you. You're in Australia. Oh yeah, that's understandable. You guys are quite a far ahead. Cause it's 644 here for me in the afternoon or the evening now, I guess. Okay, is everyone coming to grab some bread? Did you grab bread? Where are you? I don't think you did. Wait, how come you can call to meal? I swear I didn't see call to meal. Ugh, that wasn't there before. <laughs> Maybe once it got Where's opened up? How weird. Anyways, they were all quite hungry, but it's not quite dinner time, so bread it is. Uh. It's about 9.44 a.m. there. <laughs> so you're 12, uh -huh. 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, 15 no hours trouble. ahead? Isn't that Overrun. so weird to think about? Schemes wow. Cibula, huh? That's cool, though. I love Australia. <laughs> Australia, Europe, New Zealand. Fascinating. Okay. Now that everyone... See, it just acts as like a little snack, so they're not literally starving, which is really cool. I'm going to get them all to help. If they all listen. So we're going to hit plant on everything. Just click some random ones. And hopefully they will all cooperate. And now we need to start focusing on our bee box again. And I may get them a second bee box. We've been having issues with getting enough wax. Yes, you go pee. Are you taking a panicked poop? Mm, yeah. Okay. It'll be okay, buddy. <laughs> You're in daylight savings already? Ours isn't until... November. Oops, I already clicked plant for you. Can you plant? I don't think he has the skill. No, he doesn't. Um, can you take care of the trees yet? Nope. Can you fish yet? You can. Go gather water and go fishing. And then where's our puppy? Oh, he needs a bath. That's right. We'll give him a bath shortly, but let's get this all done first. Go. I'll be waiting over here for you all to come. A fire? Come on! <laughs> Why? I wanted you, I just queued you all to plant. What is on fire? Do I want to know? Oh my gosh. Well, that's a new one. No, not the rug! No, not my rug! Not the chair! Hurry! Help! Oh God. Oh no, what I click? Oh no, help! <laughs> oh god. Rip the chair. What was oh, sitting there? Uh-oh. I don't know what burned there. Was it clay? No, the clay's over there. Isabel's curse strikes again. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, you know what? We didn't lose the rug. I was worried about the rug. Think about follow. Welcome in. Goodness. Actually, your username's not appropriate. Bye. Anyways, we're going to plant. Your favorite place in Australia is Wollongong. You travel about four hours to get to, to where you are. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Australia. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> it's now 5 p.m. for them. And we just had a minor fire. Plant. Plant. And you can't plant. You're supposed to go fish. Wait, why are you sad? Um, I have that bot, but if that only takes follows from, like, full-on bots, not individuals who decide to make their username something they shouldn't. Right by Arthur, a.k.a. Ember. <laughs> Fires just follow that man. If he died in a fire, I wouldn't even think twice about it. Uh, maybe he's fireproof, though. Oh, I know, the little music box. We'll have to fix it. There we go. This will get some planting going. Thank you, everyone. You're working very hard. It's family planting time. Wool and gong. Interesting. Uh, why are you running? Come back. You want water. Listen, we're planting. You can have water later. I like how the dirt is still snow covered, but the rest is melting. Look at them all. I love when they all work together. Good job, Sims. One of you is gonna have to water. You know what? He can water. Come over here and start watering. Here. That is some very cold dirt. I'm shocked they can plant, but... My Sims has been a little bugged with the seasons, so... Guess it's working. Collect beeswax, collect honey. She's snoring right now. She's all tuckered out. Are all the plants planted? Why are you guys running away? Do not start another fire. Listen, we've had one too many fires today. Come on over here. The poor bees, they're very angry. Angry bees. I read NSW as not safe for work. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? Uh, plant. And then you could help water. <laughs> Mini living a rough life. <laughs> Little princess down there. You can water when you're done. If you're done, you can water. We're just planting into the sunset. Oh, the puppy's here to help. He really needs a bath. So somebody's done. I say you get a bath. You know what? I bet Arthur would love to give you a bath. He came over. He's like, hello, everybody. Might I help? Can you give him a bath? I actually haven't seen a picture of someone giving him a bath. Or like, oh my gosh. Take him one. She's snoring. Oh, look at him. All right, I'll follow you. I want to see this. Um... There you go. Run, 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 run. Your mom got a new puppy? That's awesome. I love puppies. Oh, there you go. All clean. Aww. Hello, paper. Welcome in. I wish she had a mic by her so you could hear her. Yes, what kind of puppy? And does the puppy have a name? This puppy's gonna change colors completely. It's been dirty for a while. How late is it? 7.30? Ugh. 
I wonder if we can quickly invite over her boyfriend, even if they could just chat for a little bit. Just to, uh... Oh, look at all the puppies she knows. Just to get their friendship up, just a tiny bit at a time. Invite him to hang out. Oh yeah, that's understandable, Dizzy. Princess puppy? I call her my princess puppy too. It's a good nickname. And then that princess emote of her is perfect because... Hello? She is a princess. She's a queen. I'm gonna have her... I didn't even know she was in here napping. Let me cue you guys up to help. Clean up and then we... I say make the venison meal. We have not made this at all in this game yet. We haven't had enough venison until now. So we're gonna make that. It looks huge. And then... Hopefully... Lawrence is coming over. Even if just for a couple hours, because I know that, you know, they leave when it gets to nighttime and it's already 8. But, I gotta put some effort in here. Go express your fondness. We'll cue some things up. Compliment appearance. Um, ask about day. As things get more chaotic, if we need to cheat their relationships to give them a boost. And, like, you know, put their friendship up a little bit. Stuff like that. We totally can, but... I'm trying for long as possible for us to do it on our own. It just means that they're not going to get married instantly when they turn 18, which is fine. They wouldn't all. Just probably a lot of them. A collie cross with a Labrador. Aww. <gasps> Aww. Oh, don't leave. Are you just moving? Okay. Lamina Galpa Watini. Whoa, what, what is going on here? No lips. Better be fun-loving. They're like halfway in both. He's materialistic. He's not supposed to have that one. That one's supposed to change. I'll fix that later. That's from auto-aging him up, Or like aging him through a music command center. She laughed so hard and wanted to see it again. She'll be three in January. Ah, good old zombie mini. That one was made last year for Halloween. It's a good one. Yebony... Demise. A coolie. Oh, not a collie. Shabby Interesting. Galan. Your queue Demis. is full. You have Warm four up. things in your queue. Boma. De Lo Did you finish cooking? Oh, wow. Look at this. We don't have any candles in here right now. Can we just, like, put the bread on the counter? That looks cool. It has venison steaks. And mashed potatoes, and parsley, and maybe green beans or asparagus, and carrots. Wow. That looks yummy. Let's see if it works for a call to meal. It does. Even better. Let's do it. Oopla. I don't have any candles. This one's still burning for like five seconds. I could steal it. Yoink! Oh. Hi, puppy. We'll put a candle right here. For a little bit of light till it goes out. Tim's food making you hungry? This mod, the food looks so good. Oh, they have little platters. Sometimes it's in plates. Oh my gosh, the candle just burned out. Sometimes it's in plates or bowls or whatever, and sometimes it's on this little platter. Let's make sure everyone gets in here. Why is he terrified now? Oh, it's still from that. All right, you can come grab a serving as well. There we go. Man, we did have a light for five seconds. Yeah. Is that on? Oh. He's in here too. You can grab a serving if you'd like. I think there's probably more than... Well, I think it is only eight servings. Aren't we missing Sims? One, two, three, four, five. Who's not in here? Eloise? Oh, come, here. Oh, come on in. I will look it up later, Dizzy. You can always post a picture in Discord too if you have a picture of the dog. No, brass bobsel. There we go. Um, you could have some bread on the counter if there's not enough. Well, no, we have seven people in the house because the dog. So there's enough for you. Hey, you. You can have some if you want. 
Oh, we're already at four hours. When did that even happen? Oh, Hello? <laughs> good, good. Oh, look, the puppy's actually clean. That's what the puppy actually looks like. Hi, puppy. Oh. Does Lawrence like fitness? Sure. You definitely need a bath. Yeah, you go and take one. Go for it. Now, is the garden completely planted? It is. But is it completely watered? I think it is. We didn't plant these, though. I'm gonna have him come plant these. Can you please plant... All... Of... These. Thank you. And then you have a little bit of wax. Who else is awake for a bit? You should be talking to your boy unless he just left. Oh, he's leaving. Wait. That's Charles. I think he left. Gosh dang, these boys. <laughs> so hard to get. You can make a candle. That would be good. You can, yeah, go take care of you. You do you, boy. Go take a bath, or go potty and then take a bath when you're done. Oh, this is Charlie, not Charles. They look the same in the bath. Um, If he's going to come take a bath, can you f clean this coop? Apparently they weren't taken care of. Why does that look like a cracked egg? I think it's snow with feed and it looks like a cracked egg. I'm like, what happened? What? That looks so weird. That literally looks like an egg fell there. Oh no. Our baby chickens. This ground is taking so long to thaw. This past winter season into spring has been so weird. You're super stinky too, and you have to pee. Right, no more screaming incoherently. Will you go over here? Go here? Go pee. And maybe gather some water. Whoa. Wait. Oh. Why are you always mourning this child that you never met? Eloise, your boy's here. He's mourning your little sister. Go have a deep convo. Get that friendship up before he leaves. And then you should be planting. Go ahead and water them all. So much work. <laughs> He's whistling. He's just sensitive. He's like, this is so sad. Don't even know her. Understandable, though. I mean, I would be pretty sad there, too. I am, just over my game. Ah, uh, Vula Shaka Teed. Simbub Krako. Do you want Simbona. to, like, uh, no kissing Shimana. yet? Hold hands. Get a little romance in before you go. Shimma? You could kiss his cheek. That'd be <laughs> fine. It's allowed. Uh -huh. <gasps> my eyes. Still. Your sins with the good trait more and all the time. The cops, uh, I forget what his traits are. Dumps, uh, Do we know them all? Let's see. Uh -huh. Oh, he's good. Materialistic's not supposed to be there. That will turn into family oriented, but I didn't get to change it when I aged him up. <laughs> that makes sense then. So. <laughs> Go ahead and Perenzi. flirt. Uh, Young. Old-fashioned love. Whisper seductively. Oh my gosh. Give him a hug, and then he should probably go so you can go to bed. Um, your mom's coming over? Please don't make this weird. Chat with Eloise. Chat with Eloise. She's coming to make it weird. Oh, I'm full. You're good, Dizzy. No worries. Someone's coming to make it weird. You'll pick. Love Okanathoy. Moochie Peachy. No kissing in the woods. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here to make it awkward. Ah, hello! Oh. <laughs> it's a little late, ah, don't so you sold. think? Uh-oh. Oh. She's oh, literally just staring at him. Oh my goodness. Chatting with Eloise and Lawrence. New beam show. Gotta make sure there's no funny business back here. Exactly, they're in the back of the lot right now. Don't flirt right in front of her! Oh no! Ah. <laughs> 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 
What are they doing? Listen to advice. Mom's giving her advice right here. Now she's running to read the Bible. <laughs> are you mocking her? He just told a joke. If they kissed right then, I would have screamed. She just waved goodbye to him. She full on said, go read your Bible, child, and told that boy to leave. <laughs> oh, good. Good. I love it. All right. Let's get you all to bed. Get out of here. Uh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. She is reading the Bible too. That is so funny. You guys can sleep inside and not on benches, you know. Maybe you don't know. All three of them were sleeping on benches. Every bench on the lot had someone sleeping on it. He was sleeping right there? How long had he been there? Oh no. Whole bunch of spies around here. The snow is melting so weird. I don't think I've ever seen the snow melt this slow. And there's like flowers starting to pop up. This The weather is like bugged now. I don't understand why everything gets bugged all the time, but now it's the weather. Oh, hello. Mysterious hand. I don't think I have a picture of you in your new bed. Did she get a cute picture? Okay, that was cute. He's smiling in his sleep. And then they all actually met Belle, which was pretty cool. Like I said, we've never really done that before. And that the mom was there for the birth. That was pretty cool. I think we're handling it quite well. All right, let's save it. Let's go take a peek at the spreadsheet. So we are going into Tuesday. So the baby was born here. So I'm... I'm thinking Wednesday, we'll have Genevieve try for baby, and I'm gonna write it down. We're gonna schedule this in, penciled in right here. Oops. Paste. There we go. Genevieve, baby. Try. We're gonna do that. So, we're going into... 1721's going by so fast. 1720 took like three streams because of the wedding and everything. It's kind of crazy. But if we have her have a baby try here, then Charlie ages up here and so do the dogs. And then Belle ages up down here. If she has a baby try here, her baby will probably be born around the time Belle ages up. Eloise, we gotta focus on her. So I'm not streaming tomorrow. Normally I do, but I'm not. Um, Friday I'll be streaming. So Friday, we need to focus on Eloise and that boy. I say we get everything ready and get her engaged and everything so that Monday can be the wedding. Just like this week's Monday was a wedding, next week's uh, Monday will hopefully be a wedding. It should be smoother because, like I said, I don't have to place the church. I don't have to make the priest. I don't have to do any of that. Like, that's done. We just got to get her engaged. So then, hopefully, if, they're, if we're going into Tuesday, baby try here. So we'll have to hang out Tuesday. Maybe get engaged. Maybe her wedding can be... We'll probably get through Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe Thursday. So her wedding, let's try to plan it for Friday or Saturday in the game. I'm assuming that will land around Monday in real life. And then as far as holidays, we have Easter here. So I'm leaning towards Friday. Ooh, my chat room just reset. Someone hacking Twitch again. Um, I'm going to aim for Friday. I'm going to write it down just so that that's what I'm aiming for. If we need to move it, that's fine. Eloise's wedding, question mark. And that should be Monday in real life. But we'll see. Because, like, they're already dressed and everything. Why did I delete a user? Their username was inappropriate. Very inappropriate. Um, but yeah, and then, then it will be summer right after that. So, that's what we have in plan. Again, I don't stream tomorrow. That update is in Discord. But I do stream Friday for this week. Very. <laughs> Emphasis on the very. And you don't always realize it when you, like, say thanks for following and then you read it and you're like, um, hello. No, goodbye. And we're also, we're on day 87 of Sims Days Play. That's kind of cool. Huh. I think that's it then. That'll be good. So if on Friday this week we get Eloise engaged, we get Genevieve pregnant again, we will most likely see Charles and the dogs age up, assuming we get through those days on Friday. 
and then we can be ready for the wedding on that following Monday. Assuming those are all tentative, anything could change. It just depends on how the streams go. So that's something to look forward to. And I'm really excited to see Belle as a toddler. She better live. I really like seeing the toddlers in this game. And then we do, in within all of this, need Charlie to start courting more. Will you be in Discord after stream? I will be. I basically have Discord open all the time. Unless I'm sleeping. I might not always respond right away, but I'll be around. Okay. Let's get ready to raid them. I think we've got everything figured out. Is it decided that he will marry Nimki? Yes. That is a definite. I'm very excited. And then we'll play Bachelor for Arthur. That'll probably end up being next week. So if you get your girls up, um, that will be for Arthur and future future people down the line. It's going to be so exciting. If the baby dies at birth, what do you do? They don't die at birth. I roll for them from baby to toddler. But if a baby dies from baby to toddler, we would still age them up because we want the ghost to be around. And I would just stress them as like a young baby if that happened so that they look young as a toddler ghost. So you would still see him as a toddler. It would just be really, really sad. Who are we raiding? I gotta go figure that out. I'm so excited to see their babies. Yeah, so make sure if you have houses you want to build for this time period. Or if you have men or women. Hashtags? That should be right. Bot? Is my bot dead? Oh, there's bot. Thank you, bot. If you have men or women, you can put them in townies. You can also put your families in townies. And if you have homes or buildings or anything like that, put them in SKC homes and they might be used in game. But yeah, Charlie, we won't be playing Bachelor because we have pre-chosen by we, I say I, but you know, I think we're all in consensus. We've already chosen his future wife, but Arthur, I have no idea. So we'll vote based on your guys' townies or bachelors. And then Juliet, Juliet's will probably be a bachelor at, or a bachelor Arthur's Bachelorette, Juliet Bachelor. There we go. All right. Let me go see who we're raiding. And then you can get the raid messages out too. Peas and thanks. Actually, I don't know if I have a mod right here. Here's Discord. Oops. Discord. A Steph. Hi, Steph. I'm Steph. And raid sub, raid follower, and decades playlist. You got left behind the last raid? Oh no. That's the worst when that happens. All of a sudden, chat's gone. And you're like, wait, what about me? Oh, good. Let me grab this. You didn't get to start. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let me go see who we're going to wade. Who are we gonna raid? Ooh, how about this person? No, don't. No. I always try to mute them right when I click the tab, but sometimes it lags out. Alright, we are going to raid... Izzy NZ. I love her. She's so sweet. Um, she's playing Animal Crossing. We're gonna go spread some love. And again, I won't be here tomorrow, but I normally would be. So if you're new, I do normally stream five days a week. But I'll see you Friday. Okay? I'll be in Discord, too, if you need me. You want to chat? We'll be there. Minnie, say see you later. She's out of camera. She says see ya. I love you guys. Have a great night and day tomorrow. And I'll see you on stream on Friday. Bye! You knew it. You started go live earlier. Where's the raid message? It's in chat. You can try to copy it real quick. I, I won't click it yet. Or you can just spam some hearts. But anyways, we're going to go raid. I love you. Bye. The little cafe and then the shop is here. That could be cool.